Mr. President. Penis. Is the boy sat down in front? It's fabulously freaky. <laughs> Live from a dumpy condo, we like to call KDK Studios. KDK's lunatic friend is on the air. And welcome to it. Wow. Everything is working well tonight. I think this is a good omen for tonight. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on KDK's Lunatic Fringe. And I'm sorry about the volume on that clear art for the straight guy thing that I wanted to play. I thought everybody would get a kick out of that considering the source. Anyway, thank you for listening to the program. If you're listening to us, we are on Ted Web, kind of call radio at www.tedweb.com. We are also running simulcasting, to the best of my knowledge, on a stream run by RadioPlanet.com, which um, you can find that link in a Windows Media Player window on the site at KDKPrankCalls.com. And um, I think Seppi probably has his server running. I'm not exactly sure. So there's plenty of server spots for everybody to be listening tonight because we maxed out last week. We reached our limit for listeners and no more people could listen. I don't know if people were trying to get in and couldn't listen because I haven't heard anybody complain to me about it, but theoretically, if somebody else had wanted to listen when there were 40 people here, they wouldn't have been able to. So now we'll be able to handle the overflow. So if you're having trouble connecting to TedWeb, well, I guess there's no point in me saying this now because you're obviously listening already, but if later on you have public <laughs> problems connecting to TedWeb, <coughs> you can check the stream done by the fine folks over at RadioPrint.com. Th thanks a lot, Bob, for that. And um, I think it's going to be a good show tonight because I'm in a strange mood tonight. I'm in a mischievous mood. You know, sometimes I'm in a peaceful, calm, loving mood. Sometimes I'm in an angry mood. And sometimes I feel like I am now. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I feel like being mean tonight. But not in a mean kind of way, you know what I mean? I feel like just having fun tonight. And we are going to have a lot of fun tonight. We're going to be making live prank calls on the air of people. So if you're listening and you're not in the chat room, you need to go there and join us. And you can hang out with the other prank call uh, underground members that are in there. Jesus is from collegesucks.org. I bet you thought he was from uh, Nazareth. Mikey Witcher is from AtlanticDimensions.com, and of course, you know, Ted Red is also in there. So you can go to KDKFriendCalls.com, click on the chat room, and join us in the IRC chat, or the server is MerkX, and the chat room is KDK, if you want to go there directly. What are we going to be doing tonight? I have new phone calls that I can play for you. I'm going to have to drive Keith to work at some point around 11.50, or 10.50. And I'm going to use that spot to play the, um, the call that we made about three or four months ago to Rich Boss. Somebody, I can't remember exactly who, gave me the phone number for Rich Boss. And we called him after he had just gotten off the um, stage after doing two sets at a club. And he was very tired, and he doesn't drink, so he was completely, uh, he has his wits completely about him. And he has some phone with us. He's a really cool guy. And um, Corey Kahaney, a fellow comedian who was um, on the NBC show Last Comic Standing with him. Unfortunately, neither of them won, but they were both on Last Comic Standing. And they were both very cool people. I'll be playing that later on tonight. It's like a 12-minute call, so I'll play when I have to go back and keep the work. So that's something to look forward to if you haven't heard it at my site yet, because I put it up there a couple of days ago. <coughs> And I want to give an update about the testicle hats. Because I remember at the end of the program last week, people who, who stayed with us towards the end of the program, people who hung in there, I gave out a link to a picture that I posted during the show on KDKFrancois.com in the gallery. And I posted it as the last picture in the gallery, and after the show I took it down. So the only, it was only up there for maybe an hour or two. But in that short time, I have, I've had a couple people... Um, complaining, uh, mostly 
people, well, I had a couple of people complaining that it was cruelty to animals. Apparently it's cruel to take a, a cat who's just minding his own business and put your balls on his head and take a picture. The cat doesn't seem to mind, but the people seem to. And I think people are getting the wrong idea. Probably considering the source, people were seeing it more as porn than funny pictures. You know what I mean? People were seeing it as gay porn, like, ooh, look at the guy's dick, rather than, uh, isn't that funny, he's, he's teabagging the cat. <laughs> I don't know. See, I have a very strange sense of humor. When I see a picture of somebody teabagging an animal, I think it's funny. I know it's not hurting the animal. Emotionally scarring the animal. So the update is this. I don't think there's going to be a testicle hat page. I took down the link or, and the logo for the testicle hat page. And if you were lucky enough to see the testicle hat picture last week, you're, you're, you're the only one. <laughs> I'm not going to put... I might submit, submit the picture to sites like Freehold and... Uh, other sites like that, but there's really no point. Honey? Yeah. Can you do that later, please? I'm done in a Okay. <laughs> I almost felt like fish ass. Good. Thank you, honey. Sure. But there was this dress, aside from the cats, I have my gun ready. I think the cats stop making noise during the program tonight. Everybody's going to be kept quiet in the water pistol. You know, they, yeah, maybe they're right. The NPC people really are going to come after me because uh, we're taking pictures of uh, our nuts on top of the cat's heads and I'm um, squirting them with a water pistol. Maybe I really am cruel to the animal. Okay. No, they love us. Our, our, our kitties are very well adjusted. They love us. Yeah. I'm not saying it to you. I'm saying it to the people out there. No more testicle hats. How about if I set up something so it looks like a separate site from KDK? Like set up a, a separate site for you so you can have your whatever disgusting stuff you want to have on there and it's just, it has a different layout than the, the KDK pages and it doesn't have the same links and everything. Yeah. You want me to do that? Sure. Yes, but you're never going to update it. I just need you to teach me again because the last time you taught me how to do it, I was stumped out of my fucking mind. Okay, I'll show you how to do it again. Actually, I need you to write it. I need you to write it down. I can't write it down. Huh? You write it down. Okay, well, I'll, I'll record it. myself telling you how to do it, and you can write it down. Okay, well, I'll write it down. It's not that difficult to update a site. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Let me get back to what I was. I, what was I doing? I was saying what we're going to be doing today, and uh, I wanted to have a beer to do so. So hang on a second. I'm going to go grab myself a beer. This show is so unprofessional. There's cats meowing in the background. There's people making all kinds of noise in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The host is stoned and can't keep a train of thought. <laughs> yeah. It's bad to be mixing downers. You, you know, you're not supposed to mix alcohol and weed. You know, I have gotten sick because of weed before. Like, I had, like, only, like, three or four beers, not enough beers to make me sick, but then I smoked so much pot that I threw up. Yeah, I've done that, too. You've done that, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've never turned up on the air yet. I've never gotten that drunk. <laughs> I got really wasted last week, though. I was having fun. I was just, like, doing random prank after random prank, just harassing people. I gotta stop saying that. It's not harassing people. Saying hello to people. <laughs> I don't want to admit black in the morning. Yeah, I'm saying hello to people. It just happens to be at two, three in the morning. Did I did I wake you? Yeah, we're going to be listening to prank calls from the prank call underground from um, um, Atlantic Sucks. Atlantic Sucks. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I really am out of it. College Sucks at AtlanticDimensions dot com. Maybe we'll play some Pilot and some Rebels and Ted Webb prank calls. Ready and stuff. Yeah. <coughs> Let me see what we have coming in. People are always yelling that I don't check my private messages, so I'm checking right now. And Mr. Happy has the phone number for somebody listed as Mr. Spank Monkey. So 
so we can give that a try. We have uh, Neo's names coming in tonight, or Jane Witches, Blanche Petoff, Hisako Rockwood. Hisako Rockwood, that sounds like a Japanese porn star. Chiquita Hilversum, Hubertus Wilbers, Marsha Fungi, Suck Fung, Fook Wai Fung, Edithna Pitum. Edithna Pitum, okay. Ari Pitum. Sinan Gok Dog. Shoko Okado. Jackie Lukadoo. Desmond Masterton. Hutcherson Evelyn. Yakov Vilpan. Madonna Novak. Nassif Vic. Big guy. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Jive Turkey says testiclehats.com. Just a suggestion. <laughs> I don't know. Is that domain name? I wouldn't be surprised if that domain name was taken. Hey, honey. We can register testiclehats.com just for you. You, mm -hmm. you, could, you never know, it could be the next go to. Mm -hmm. Go to is the sort of thing where everybody knows what it is, but they don't want to admit that they know what it is whenever you mention it. Everybody knows what it is. Don't pretend like you don't. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go pack my bowl, and in the meantime, I'm going to play a prank call for you here. Let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Anyway, this is, um, oh, that's right, I have some CDK stuff I can play later on, later on tonight, so that's something to look forward to. This is from Atlantic Dimensions. <coughs> you can find it on the website at AtlanticDimensions.com. This one is called Insane, and I'll be right back. I love you, I'm Hello, hello. I'm glad you're here. I'm ready to see you for the first one. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you need to see a first person. Is it Charles there? No, I think he has the wrong number. I, I don't know. You act like you need to have and I think it's a phone. I think that person is the same. number and I will return your call. If you're calling about the puppy, it's already gone. You have a Jesus built day. Thank you. Please leave your message after the tone. Press 1 to send a numeric page. Oh my master, this is full of juice. It was jam-packed with Jesusness. Oh yes, it was. And I hope you have a, a Jesus of a day too. All right, and then I'll, I'll have to call back because you're not home and talking to the machine ain't going to help. AtlanticDimension.com Okay, we're back, and I lied. That was two calls from Atlantic Dimensions. The second one there was called Jesus Day. I always find it bizarre when people leave, like, pro-Jesus messages on their answering machine. No matter how much you love Jesus, you don't even realize that it's sort of annoying. I don't know. <coughs> okay, so I packed my bowl. So I'm ready to get ready for the show here. You know, I would be ready by now, except that I work and I don't get home until around like 9.30, and I have a half hour to prepare for the show, and there's always little odds and ends I have to do, and there was some stuff I wanted to download, and I didn't have a chance to yet. Ooh, and oh my God, America Online is still open, so let me close that out. I'm sorry to anybody who is talking to me on AIM, but um, I don't want to have too much shit open here, or shit starts breaking down, and then the, the programming goes off the air. Uh, just getting myself ready for the program here. I think maybe I'll warm up with a local random number in a moment. <laughs> If you have us, an idea for somebody that you would specifically like me to prank, what you're listening to is live right now. It is Saturday night, 10.22 in the p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
So you can go on over to the chat room and click on my name, KDK, in the chat room, and you can send me a private message with a phone number in the info about whoever you want me to call. And let's see. Have you ever tried to prank the WWE? Why not try... Okay, somebody just suggesting new domain names for me. But you know what? I'm going to stick with kdkprankcalls.com, even though it's really long. <coughs> I just ran a who is and testiclehats.com is an available domain name. Snatch it, dudes. Testiclehats.com is also available. Te Testicle-hats. I don't know. You think testiclehats will become a big fad? They don't have to be just animal pictures. It could be like college kid pictures and, you know, like shaming pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. Thank you. You know? I wouldn't want to waste my time with it, though. I don't think it would be that much. Yeah. Man, you never know, though. You never know what, what's going to click, you know? Yeah, what well, are you guys out there? Buy that domain name, testicleheads.com. You can put up our testicle pictures. Then we have um, Eric... Okay, the owner of e the phone number for the owner of E-Bombs World, coming in from Paper Cut. Mike Shinoda, MC for popular rock and hip-hop artists. Tom Mabe, who does... Um, I believe he's one of the guys who does bad fake prank calls. Um, Kai Cameron, what? Carolyn, a webmaster of happyhacker.com. No, I'm not pranking somebody with a website, happyhacker.com. I don't want my site getting shut down, you know. I wouldn't know how to get it back up again. I'm a retard. Burger King voicemail. Oh, let's, let's call the Burger King voicemail. <laughs> the webmaster for phonelosers.org, Brad. Okay, I don't know if, it, if these numbers are real, because if I remember right, we got a bunch of numbers from paper that, that were um, all completely wrong last week. KDKWeb.com. No, I'm going to stick with the current URL that I have. It's long, and people have to type it, but you know what? It always forces me to keep up with the prank calls. I can only get, like, sidetracked and put the prank calls on the back burner and instead start doing bad videos like some other pranksters out there. <laughs> I always got to keep it real. What? You, you look at me like you're going to say something. No, I was, I was wondering who you were talking about at first. And then I realized Blackout. Well, you didn't have to say who it was. He should be called He sh Who Shall Not Be Named. Okay, He sh Who Shall Not Be Named. Who lives in a box in Florida. <laughs> he lives in a box in Florida on the street corner. It's a giant refrigerator box. And it's all he ha has in the world. It's like his only ma material possession. So he, he lives inside the box, and he hides in there mostly, and he rarely comes out. But when people, like, walk by, like, walk up to the box, like, people try to take the box away or see what's in the box, all they see is just him cowered in the corner, and he's hissing, and he's clawing at the air. Yeah, like, like, um, like a Mr. Garrison went crazy, and they went and found him in the cave in South Park. <clears throat> and he's caressing the side of the box, and he goes, I want it. It's my birthday present, my... Fox. My precious. Anyway. Let me... Can you hear me the phone? Too bad I didn't have a chance to edit the, uh, the soundboard pranks. Keith and I were having some fun the other night. We were making soundboard prank calls with the Kevin's Mama soundboard and the Saul Rosenberg soundboard and the Gladys Richford soundboard. So this, there's a whole slew of new soundboard calls that I'll have to go through and edit and put up on the site, which will take forever. What? Somebody puked on the armor. Somebody puked on the armor of the couch. Mm -hmm. Gee, I wonder who. Probably the big fat one that's running away. I'm going to play a prank call for you here. Let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Now, yeah, you're me. Who is it? Now, this is John. Who? John. Yeah. John Simmons. No. No, is this... Yeah. Yeah, that's the number that's on my pager. John Simmons. Hey, is this Rita? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? I haven't talked to you forever. Who is that? It's John. John Simmons. You don't remember me? Uh-uh. I, I used to be your bag boy. My what? At your grocery store. What's the name of that place? Man, it's been years. <coughs> I have 
Why the fuck are you talking about? No. Uh -huh. I used to bring out your groceries to your car. What? I remember, man. It's been like ten years. To my car? Yeah. For what for? I'm trying to remember. I worked a lot of jobs since then. Unemployment's rough lately. Huh. Oh. Well, what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Yeah. yeah. Nothing? Nothing? Uh -uh. <laughs> Just working. Yeah. Um, you know what? Maybe Jim does, yeah. When mm. I was uh, called. No, about ten minutes ago. I don't know. That wasn't me. But is it raining over it? Uh-uh. I'll just say it's not raining here. No, it must be somebody else that told you. Uh-huh. So what you need? Huh? What you need? Need some groceries brought out to your car again? Yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't know who it was. It's uh -huh. me. Okay. What are you doing for dinner? What am I doing for dinner? Yeah. What? Uh, oh, maybe you want to go get by tea or something? No. Maybe over to the tea or something like that? <laughs> I don't think so. Why not? Well, because I don't even know who you are. That offends me. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I can't believe it. You don't remember me. Nope. You used to always give me a shiny quarter. Now I know you're bullshitting me. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you can't afford a quarter tip? I, you know, I don't even know who you are. So, I'm going to hang up. Why? Because I am. I have somebody else on the line. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. I think you're on the air. Hey. Okay. Well. Uh, there's a speaker on somewhere, man. Uh, well, I just turned the speakers back on because I figured out the problem. All right, what was it? Now people can hear you on. As a matter of fact, you're a little too loud. Let me turn down the wave. I figured out the problem. I had the wrong mic plugged in. Are you serious? The whole beginning of the program, you know how you're hearing... Yeah, it? there's a lot of, like, echo to it. You're hearing, like, in the background kind of... How did that go? It was like... It was, oh. it was like a background hiss going on in the background the whole while. Uh -huh. You know why? Because I was using the crappy microphone. You I, I, was using the headset. I had the headset on and I'm hearing myself the whole time and I'm talking into the headset and then I go to make a call and I'm holding the phone up to the headset and I'm like, what the fuck? Ah. Because I had the, uh, the, uh, the microphone on the monitor working. You bastard. That's why you were hearing, you were hearing, I like, told you. You were hearing the machine, like the fan from the, uh, the hard drive. Okay, well, now I'm going to restart the program. Hello, everybody. <laughs> God. You must forgive me, for I'm terribly stoned. Yeah, okay, Zach, right. now I feel better. Now we can talk. Yeah, right, God, now. you bastard. I get aggravated, don't I? You do. You get pissed off because like a little girl. Because I have a problem, and it's got to get solved right away. And I, I got people listening. No, I'm like, shit, I'm going to figure this kidding. out, or people are going to mock me and tune out. And I know. Like, what's up with Josh, dude? Seriously. Did you check that out? How he's talking in blue? Josh is angry that he was bothering me to do... Well, every week Josh comes in here, he says, Call Bobby Trendy, call Bob Denver, call, um... Who, Josh? Yeah, he likes me to call Bobby Trendy, he likes me to call this guy that him and Monkey Richie always call. He We're not that British, dude. We're not calling celebrities all the time. He, want, he wants me to always call, like, the same people over and over. And if, if I call somebody... They call the rat. If I call somebody and I don't get a funny call, or they don't... They don't want to play or anything. Well, then why am I going to... Why well, would Bobby Trendy play, He's gay, you know? What? Gay guys like playing, right? Well, Bobby Trendy, last time I called him, he sounded like he was on drugs. Really? Let's call him up, dude! No. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Let's do it. I do, do, you, do you really want to call him? I can't call him yet because I don't have a phone card yet. Oh, God. I get a cell phone. We can call him later if you want to. Whatever. Here, yeah. let's call some... Here, I'll try some people. Purdue people should be... Should be back. Okay. So, because the break, because they start school Monday. Okay. It's so the weekend. People. Okay, so hold on. Let me try, uh... Let me try a number. Cool. This is monumental. See, Zach hasn't done a whole lot of prank calls lately because he's been very down in the dumps and feeling uncreative and unproductive. So... I almost, I almost knocked out of Star 6-7. Oh, wow. You I know. I call myself. I'm like, wait, I didn't dial star six seven. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, hold on. You're getting rusty. Like, like I was saying, Zach hasn't made a whole lot of prank calls lately because he hasn't felt in the mood for pranking. So this is sort of a... It's a good night. You get to hear Zach hey, hey. Shh. You were doing it. Okay. They're on the phone. Hello? Hey, what's up? Oh, man, we're getting something. <laughs> Who's talking? Who's talking? I don't know what we called, man. 
because it's doing the double ring. Yeah, it's getting transferred through our uh, voice message for Matt. Yeah. Press one. Yeah. To these guys. Hey, what up? It's Matt. Uh, so I'm not here right now, but thanks for calling. Uh, leave your name and a number, and I can buy you to the spot for later. You may start your message now. Yo, man, what's up? Yeah. Hey, I got my buddy over here, Pat. Hey. Hey, we're just seeing if, uh, you know, you want to do that same thing that we did last semester, kick it off, you know, kick it off right. Yeah. All right, um, just talk to us. Um, we'll meet you by the tree, and uh, we'll hang out. It'll be K-Rad. All right, hope to see you there. Praise Jesus. Bye. Bye. Praise Jesus. Yeah, dude. This this night's all about all, all about our Lord and Savior. This night is all about, all about Jesus. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You feeling sacrilegious? I hate God. No, you don't. If God exists, I would spit on him. No, that's just stupid. No, listen to you, fucking Christian. I'm not a Christian. You're whatever. You're a Christian. No, I'm not. Alright, let's call another pretty person. Go ahead. And we'll argue with them about religion. Okay. Yeah, bastards. <laughs> Alright, hold on. <coughs> hmm, 10.40, we're already pranking, not bad. Sometimes I stall it for like an hour and a half. Yo, yo, yo. What up, my Negro? Purdue? Why don't you call the school and ask about chicken? To leave a message for mailbox 153658. Please leave your name and the message. You may start your message now. I just wanted to welcome to your new voicemail. Uh, Hi. Hey. 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 Welcome to voicemail. Hey, their voice is a little over the top. <laughs> no, but okay, seriously, we just wanted to give you a big, warm Purdue welcome. You're right, I don't want to scare the guy, so... Yeah. Welcome to Purdue. It's an exciting place to live. A fine, fine home of chicken, and all things chicken. Yeah. So, um, we'll be letting you go now. You enjoy your school year, and don't leave uh, a dumb intro on your voicemail. Check you later. Bye. All right. <laughs> You're recording this, right? Oh, yeah. Alright. I say yeah now, but I'm not really sure until the end of the program. Oh, listen to you! It's recording in the other room, but who knows what happens. Who knows who, yeah. The program. So you just fucking lie to me. Why don't you just tell the truth? I'm not going to kill you. The truth is, I am recording. However, it has happened in the past that I have lost recording. So you yeah. might want to record on your own. So you're not recording. No, I am. But something might happen between now and the end of the program, like his computer could blow up. Did you remember to call that zone alarm? No, I did not. Okay. Well, hopefully zone alarm won't crash in the middle of the program. But I'm gonna have to be getting ready to drive. Uh, what? To drive my honey to work. All right, one more call. Okay. Keep just laughing at the relay of the last voicemail message. <laughs> to leave a message for. Oh, uh, world closure. Who? Press one. Oh, we missed. To leave a message for. Oh, my Mike Watson. <laughs> Mike. Press. Was I super gay? No, that was super gay. You've reached Will DeLosier. Sorry, I can't come Will DeLosier. Please leave your name, number, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You may start your message now. Possible. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, I know, seriously. What's the deal with this possible stuff? Burr, 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 burr. This is possible. Possible. Love in like a gay way. I mean, love in. <laughs> I mean, I I love him in in the fact that I, I I love all people who love prank calling, but particularly people who love KDK. I love them the most. 
And people love this program. What? Yeah. Yay! KDK. Let me see what I'm going to play. I want to play that Voss thing, so let me find that. That's in new KDK print. Let me take that out of there. Remove item. And we'll put... Where did I put the boss call? Unsorted audio, maybe? Yep. Okay, so that goes there, so you can listen to the rich boss. Shit, that's not it. It says it's 29 seconds long. That ain't it. I might have to go to my own site and download it. <laughs> no, I know where else it is. It should be in two different places on the hard drive. So, let me check the other place. There it is. Okay, now I got it. Let me get rid of that first one. That's right, 12 minutes and 43 seconds long. This is the Rich Boss call. I'll throw some other stuff in there, and I'll be back. It usually takes me like 15 minutes to drop them off and get back, so I'll see you in a bit. Hello? Hello, I'm looking for Mr. Boss. Speaking? How you doing, sir? It would have to be Mr. Boss if you called his fucking phone, wouldn't it? Oh, my. Well, yes, I guess, of course. But I don't know, maybe somebody gave me a phone number or something like that. So how are you doing, you old butt, butt, munching, big fucker? Slow it down. If you're going to call me a name, don't do it in stutter. Slow it down. <laughs> no, do that one again. Butt sucking big fucker. No, no, no. Butt sucking big fucker. That's what I mean. No, butt sucking big fucker. What? Get it together. Uh, well, I'm nervous. It's not often I get to speak to celebrities. Who's this? I don't get out much. Who is it? Well, you don't know me, but my name is Katie Peg, and I host an internet radio show where we, we, get prank, we get phone numbers from people from all over the country, and we prank them live on the air. So I was going to fuck with you a little, but I, I actually admire your work. So I didn't want to, like, be mean and, like, nasty to you. Well, what in the work? You no, know, you wouldn't have gotten pissed off at me? Well, I would have, no, I would have fucking turned it around and made you look bad. Oh, no, no, I should, like, hang up and call back so we can do that. No, I don't know, I've been doing this for a while. I'm pretty good at the prank call thing. Wait, but how'd you get my number? Like I said, one of our listeners just somehow knew your number or found it out somehow. Like, oh, uh, was it a girl? No, it was a guy. He sent me two numbers, uh, the 2928 number and then this one. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, go after somebody else. Get Norton or Patrice or somebody. Who? Get Norton. Who's that? Come on. Is there somebody who wants to pay? No, oh, I'm too tired. I'm a sick out of space, man. I'm exhausted. Oh, you got to go today. Good, real good. But I'm really glad to two shows, so I'm fucking fried. Okay, well, I don't want to piss you off anymore. Is there anybody you want us to harass? Just, uh, like, give us a... I'll, like, take you off there. You can give us a number and we'll fuck with them. How about here right now? Yeah. Oh. Dude, don't worry. There's only like 500 people listening on the internet. I know that. You're on internet radio on Saturday night. Who the fuck do you think is listening to us for a bunch of geeks? Or people that aren't getting fucking late. Here, you want to talk to Corey? Do you know Corey? From where? Trump. From last time it's standing? Yeah. Sure, put her on. Yeah. Oh, man. What are you doing, Frank Paul? What are you doing all mean to me? Yeah, what a cop monkey. <laughs> because he's Rich Ross. Yeah. He's not known for being cuddly and, uh... Well, sort of. Uh, he's like the gruff but lovable guy. Well, you know, he, he's the gruff but, you know... Yeah, he's got, he's got hypochondriac, you know? So how are you doing, Corey? You're a little hot, too. issues. How am I doing? I'm on the road with Rich Ross. Well, I guess that's pretty good. Like, yeah, I guess it's pretty good. Well, it's a living nightmare, to be perfectly honest. If it makes you feel any better, I think that fan is an asshole. Yeah, he's just not funny. Yeah, you're right. He's not funny. You know what? He got sympathy. They totally handed him that win. He got sympathy, or the other option is, as we know, his people are better with the computer than my people. <laughs> better with the computer? Uh, Asians, uh, they build computers. Uh-huh. Oh, so you, yeah. you think he, he, he rigged the loading? Did you comic at one, uh, in a past life? Who? You. 
I sort of like to think I'm a comic now, but I do like the stupid prank call thing. I don't do stand up. I do like spontaneous comedy, but it's all prank calls. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's good. I I think I was really big with the uh uh, with the Turkey Boys. Yeah, with the Turkey Boys, about 20 years ago. I know, that's what everybody uh, says. No, no, it's good. Look, the Comedy Central's got a huge, uh, huge success with it. I wish y'all the best. Yeah, you know that dude bag stole one of my calls. You know what else you might want to look into in the future? Impressions. Impressions no. of politicians. People love that. <laughs> you could make a mint. You know that, you know that douchebag from the Man Show? He did some calls on Cranky Actors? Uh, Adam Carolla. Adam Carolla. He yeah. stole one of my calls. He I, stole one of your calls. I do a call on my website called Forgotten Prosthetic Leg, and he did that call, and he even used one of the lines from that call in his call. Isn't that you ridiculous? Think it was just a possibility that it's you know, a very that slim, could have been trumped by his? It's a very, very slim chance, but I have a feeling he was surfing for prank call sites and listening to some, and he probably heard that one, and I don't know if he knows where he stole it from, but he probably heard it and osmosed it into his uh, act. Yeah. If you'd like to call it that. What? Who are you? Uh, what I'm nobody. You have? What? No, I'm, you have a you have an internet radio. It's an it's an internet radio show. It's on every Saturday night at eleven o'clock, and if I'm lucky, like two hundred people listen. It's it's nothing. Oh hey, uh, what's your name? Um, your name? My name is Katie K. Hey Katie K's parents. Nice to hear from you. How you doing? Katie K's parents. I figured if you said 200 people listen, maybe your parents were among them. No, no, no. A lot of stranger people since he talked to you. Believe it or not, even a douchebag like me has fans. <laughs> you know what? you got to get a thicker skin. No, I'm just getting around. I know I'm, I know I'm great at what I do. But you got to have a thick skin. I do. You know? Okay. Trust me. Next year, you'll, you know, you audition for Last Comic Standing. I mean, you know, they're going to eat you alive. Do you ever hear of uh, Blackout.com? Talk a lot of shit about me on on uh, on the air and everything. They do? Oh yeah, all the time, constantly. Um, God, this is this has been one of the career highlights for me. But uh, boss really wants to get back on the air. Let me, let me put him over to you. Boss wants to. Hey, hey, boss. Why do you have thin skin? You're upset. Are you depressed? And, you no, know? no, 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 not at all. I am. I don't have thin skin. How, how old are you? I'm just. I feel belittled by being in the presence of such greatness. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not being facetious. How old are you? Like 19 or 16? No, I'm 32 years old. That's the saddest part of all. Are you 32? I'm 32. You're doing this out of your house, are you? I'm doing this out of my living room. Are you a living room? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and and like, if that's living room pathetic enough, on top of that, I'm gay too. You're gay. Don't you wish a train would drive to your living room right now? You know, ironically enough, we live right next to the train track. Now you're gay and you live in your living room. I mean, you're in your living room. Yeah. And being gay is not pathetic. Oh, I got a beer in my hand and a bowl in, uh, on the table. You think you have any hot chicks listening to your show? Yeah, yeah actually, a lot of them. Hot ones on a Saturday? You think any hot chicks would email us? <laughs> so? Well, if you listen now, hot chicks, Rich com. Okay, there you go. go. Look at my website. I want some hot chicks. They're not no fucking, not no fatties. Okay. Hey, hey, boss. What? Would you put up a link to my site? I don't know how to do that on that side. I really don't know how to do that. Remember when you were starting out how cool it would have been if somebody bigger than you would have done a lot to help you? That would do a lot to help me. What's the name of your song? That's my web guy. I don't know how to do that stuff. It's lucky. What is it? It's hard to remember. It's KDK, the letter K, letter D, letter K. You know know what you do? Tell me, listen to me. Yes. Go to my website. Yeah. Uh, You see the guy that runs it, Streetcar Media? Yeah. And email him, Sarah, so you can put a link to my site. Okay. You know, that would be awesome, man. But you know, don't do it, I'm sure. But just, you know, make sure. Don't have any of your dumb fans doing this fucking, you know. No, I'll do it myself. No, nobody else out there will give them any hands. I'll do it myself. And I'll send someone listening right now. I try something stupid, but this is for you, you know. Okay. You know, I'm going to my website, find out my website. And that's a new, I mean, I wouldn't know how to do it if... You know, I, I, you know, I couldn't do it anyhow. He runs he, he does my site. I, I can't do that, right? I don't do that stuff. Well, if you don't know how, I guess you can't do it, right? Well, I can't do it. He does my site, so yep. I, I would. I'll put up, a, I'll put up a link to richboss.com or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure it won't help you much, but I'll do it nonetheless. I talk to old, uh, email me. Yes. Hot girls send you pics. You like uh, vagina close-ups or what? 
No, it's just I like pretty faces. I like the whole body. It doesn't have to be like diva shots. Just like pretty cute girls. Okay. And uh, live in New Jersey, in New York area. They want to <laughs> pull around. <laughs> Where are you based out of? We're in Connecticut, so we have a lot of people in the area. All right, New Jersey, New York girls. I want to fool around. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's what it's about. And, uh... You know, you know what we get? We get a lot of, like, weird bisexual girls who listen because we're bisexual. We get a lot of weird bisexual girls. So they do, like, weird shit with you. I mean, if it's a hot transvestite that's under, like, five foot five. Oh, you know, that's a transvestite. No, all, your trans- all transvestites are, like, six feet to seven feet. Okay. A hot one, a hot one that's about five five. <laughs> you know, he looks like a girl. Yeah. And, and he's got to be cut. You want to hear who else we prank tonight? Oh, we prank Bob Denver. We prank really? we Bob Denver is dead, isn't he? No, no, he's still alive. <laughs> oh, the guy from Gilligan's Island. He would be so pissed at you to hear you say that. <laughs> Bob Denver from Gilligan's Island. Yeah, he was Gilligan. Yeah. And then we pranked uh, Lamont from San Francisco. <laughs> Oh, really? He's a sweet hot teacher yeah. or something. Yeah, we pranked Lamont for Sanford and Son, and we pranked some guy who was in Billy Madison. He was really, he was a dick. Really? Yeah, I can't remember. What was his name? I can't remember his name. Okay. Oh, Josh Mostel. Yeah, he was a dick. All right. Don't work with him. That's good. I'm not going to work with him. All right, hot girls, hot transvestites under five foot seven. Uh, <laughs> gotta be cut. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Uh, 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 I mean, I got tattoos. I don't care. You know, it doesn't turn me on if a girl or guy. I'm not guy. I mean, I don't give a fuck if a girl has tattoos. Yeah. You know, it doesn't excite me. Uh, uh, you know, as long as they're not going to mind that I'm dropping hot loads on her back and, and moving her. Bukaki. Bukaki. You know, I don't want her to get upset about that. <laughs> this is boss's goo is dripping down her, you know, little fucking dumb uh, gothic tattoo. Yeah. Uh, but uh, are, you, are you there with a partner? Yeah, my boyfriend is sitting next to me. Oh, really? You a bottom or a top? Top. How come when people say bottom or top, like you, like you're a top, right? Yeah. You like switch up, don't you ever go on the bottom? Every once in a while. Not often. Oh, oh, but it means like bottom and top. You like the, it's the top, the controller? No. Like the, no? No, it's just, like, oh, I don't like the back door. Oh, but he likes to get banged? Yeah. You know, I was arguing with someone saying that. I do it once in a while, but he, no one that has to. Tell the truth, I was talking to somebody. I was saying to somebody, it's more gay for two guys to kiss uh, than two guys to blow each other, right? No. Don't you think it's like, do you, you think... Uh, two guys blowing each other is more gay than two guys kissing? Of course. No. If you're no. kissing, it's like there's no sex contact. It's just yeah, like, but if you're kissing, that's more intimate. That's why hookers don't kiss you. Well, the women take it more personal. Men aren't like that. Oh, really? Well, I'm not like that. Are you? You don't, you don't make a big deal out of kissing a chick. No, but I like kissing a chick, but this guy that was blowing me said it's not gay. He said it's not gay. <laughs> Um, he tricked me. Voss, you are the coolest. <laughs> Everybody out there, go to richvoss.com. All right. You are the all coolest right. guy, man. I'm all right. Check out the website, kdkprankcall.com. All right. You it, remember, it, email, email my uh, website. I'm going to put a link. Okay. You are the coolest, man. Listen to some calls. I can tell them just from your sense of humor, you'll get a kick out of them. They're dirty and right. crazy. Okay. Thank you, man. Oh, I should have to some girls. Okay. Bye. Bye. What? This call is brought to you by KDKPrankCalls.com. Good afternoon, Pizza Shop. Yes, hello. 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 Pizza Shop. This number's on my caller ID. This is the Pizza Shop. Yes, of course. Okay, I, I don't know who called you. I didn't call you. I received a call. I don't appreciate that language. Hello? Hello? Hello, motherfucker. Good afternoon. Pizza Chef. This number's on my caller ID. I know, ma'am. You just called me. I don't know who called you. The store, it's a store number. I don't know who called you. The motherfucker's a lying, he's a lying crack sucker. He called me, he's called me all night. 
Hello. Hello, I'm this thing. I didn't, like you said, this, this is a grocery store. Hold on, let me get a shot of beer. Hello. 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 This is the grocery store. Right. Yeah, it's the grocery store. I don't know who called you. There's more than one department here. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, my hemorrhoids. Pop. Oh, I don't like you said. I have more than one department here. So How I are you? Hmm? How are you? I, I'm fine. This, this is a grocery store. Oh. What do you want to know? I didn't call you, ma'am. You called me. Who is this, by the way? This is supermarket. Who is this, by the way? My name is Kathy. Why? Are you popping the, the anus too? Oh, God. Hello? And we're back. Oh, let me pause that. We listened to the original call, which isn't really a prank call. Wow, I, I just go back on the air for seconds and people are already trying to call in. Hey. Oh. Okay, now he's going. Now we can talk all gay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How's it doing? Everybody, Zach from CollegeSucks.org. College Sucks.org. Oh. Yeah. That's what he just said. Yeah. Okay. Weird. What? Nothing. Hey, who is that call? Who's Rich Moss? Rich Moss is a um, relatively famous comedian. He was on NBC's last comic standing, which uh, got pretty big ratings. Oh, okay. Because I just heard that call. Yeah, I didn't tell anybody that I posted. Usually I send out, like, uh, I spam people for the bulletin board that tell them that I put up new stuff. But I knew I was going to be playing it tonight, so that way the people who didn't visit the site, they heard it for the first time. Yeah. And uh, did, I didn't know that Adam Carolla really stole that prank phone call from him. Well, I don't... I don't know if he did or not. <laughs> but it came out after that, that call came out? Yeah. Well, Craig Gickers came out, like, well after those calls. Because I can't remember the timeline of that call. Well, the site would have already been out for around a year already. Huh. And we I was, tried to get Adam Carolla's phone. Yeah, I was in the prank call Webbering at the time, so he probably was in the prank call Webbering and came up on that call and just heard something that clicked with him, like the idea and that one line, and he used him. Yeah. Wow, you just went on the air and I called you. Are you smoking bones over there right now? What? You're doing hits. What are you smoking? Nothing. <laughs> I know that voice. No, you don't. I know. That was the I'm holding in a toke voice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you get any numbers that work? You called, like, I'll listen to you. Can you get any? All my fucking numbers did work. Thank you very much. We got voicemail every time. Well, yeah. I'm yeah, well, I... Oh, how you. much... What? Is there an online website that you check into? It says, I'm home, call me. Well, you dial a local random number. You'd have uh, better luck than dialing all the school numbers. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got a lot of little old ladies that live around there. I know. Okay, give me an old lady name. Hold on, hold on. Martha. I, what? Martha. Mabel. Mabel might be an old black lady. Mabel. 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 Well, that's a first name. A last name, um, um, Robinson. Look for a Mabel Robinson. <laughs> no, I just need a last letter. Oh. I can do wild card searches. Okay. Uh, yeah, try Mabel R. Hi. Right. Well, I just did Mabel Star. So, okay. But M's come up too, which I hate. Okay, how many people are listening right now? I'm going to go check. I don't know how many people are listening through Radio Prank, or if it, indeed they are uh, simulcasting tonight at all. I'm not, I don't know how to check that shit. Well, you should have an email you or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to go into AOL and read my email. I'm trying to, to see if I can uh, get into AOL and click the away message before the messages start coming in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're that popular, right? It seems that during the show, everybody wants to get my attention and tell me, like, what they want to hear or what they want to do, want me to do, but, you know, I'm kind of, otherwise... There's no Mabel, dude, with R. No Mabel Robinson? Nope. Okay, 32 people. Bad. Okay, B. How about a B? We got a B. Mabel B. No, I already looked through all those. Okay. How about D? Why don't you just dial a random number? But we don't know who lives there. So? All right. It is better if you know their name and their address, so you can at least have some kind of identifying info about them. MS Guy. 
Em không gọi Excuse me? 
This is Ed. You called the Rosenthal home, and um, how can I help you? You know, I was giving my wife Jill a sponge bath, and she's in there getting cold. They hang up already? Hello? Zach, you hung up on me. No, I didn't. Okay. God! <laughs> You didn't even wait. Yeah, yeah right. I was thinking about busting in, but I was going to let you finish your story. Yeah. I think for this one, since you're going to be talking a bunch of nonsense, yeah. I'll have to come in after like 10, 15 seconds. Okay. And then we can probably pace it more, because then we can play off the confusion thing, and they'll like want to be a part of the explanation. You think so? Yeah, I, well, we can draw them in with that. we got to draw them in. Yeah. So we'll we'll give it a try. This. Okay, so let me find another <laughs> Prank phone call and then gets the blood pumping, you know. <laughs> How long has it been since you did pranks? Well, I, I did, I did. You it. did a couple I, with us last week, right? Well, yeah, I did those and then I did it some earlier that day. But like, no one was home and no fun people would answer the phone. Yeah. So it kind of sucked, but. Mm -hmm. And then I was listening to you guys. Oh, Daily was making be, me before laugh. I forget, let me say something about um. Sethi, I fixed the folder. You know how I told you I was going to do hosted sites? Yeah. I'm hosting a site for Sethi Crystal Sphere. Ooh. And uh, I couldn't figure out um, where to put his folder or where to give him access. I didn't give him access to the right file. So now I fixed your access and your folder is in the ATT docs. Backslash. Oh, you had it somewhere else? I had it like outside of the ATT oh, docs no. folder. Yeah, so it's of course it didn't work. Docs. Yeah, so now it's an HT docs backslash crystal sphere. So you got to go in there, and unfortunately, you got to change, you got to fix all your links because they're all broken. Because I had to move the location. You know what I mean? I didn't change any of the files. I just moved the whole thing into the HT docs folder. But when I look at it, the whole site is completely not working. Shake it off, man. No, it doesn't bother me. No, oh. it's just more work for him. Probably bothers him, but uh. he's getting a free host out of it. True. <laughs> Alright, I got Edgar Dewitt. Edgar Dewitt? D E W. D E. Edgar Dew? Du? No, Dewitt. Dewitt. I. D E W I T, like yeah. Joyce Dewitt? I don't know who Joyce Dewitt is. But okay, call him and ask for Joyce. She was, oh, we got uh, it. She was the, uh, the frumpy chick from Three's uh, Company. You know, the dark haired woman? The black haired chick? Yeah, what was her name? Uh, you just told me it. Janet? I don't, oh, you mean on the show? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Her real name is Joyce D. Witt. Isn't that sad that... Let's have a moment. You know how happy she would be? You hey, know how dude. happy she would be if I didn't remember her character's name, but I remembered her? That would make her whole career, probably. She'd be, like, so happy. Yeah. Hey, let's have a moment of silence for John Ritter, since you got to bring up old wounds. Yeah, John Ritter was a cool guy. Oh, okay, yeah, moment you, of silence is over. You always hear about celebrities, you know, from people who knew them, like, what kind of people they were? Uh-huh. And by all accounts, by everybody who worked with him, everybody who knew him, John Ritter was a very cool guy. You know, you never hear... What do you want, to fuck him or something? No, you know how, you, like, you hear, like, Robert De Niro, like, people who work with him, like, people who are, like, gophers on movies say how much of, of a dick he is. You know? It sort yeah. of makes me like a celebrity less if I know that they're a prick in reality, you know? Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, but... Let's get a call Okay. Are we doing the old folks home, or you want to do the Joyce Do It thing? Call up Mr. DeWitt and ask for Joyce and tell him what a fan of Three's company you are and stuff. All right. Or I'll do it. You want to do it or you want me to? You can do it. Okay. All right, hold on. We're sorry. The number you have reached does not accept blocked calls. If you have complete blocking on your line, please... They want to get that prank all the time. <laughs> Damn, I thought I was being creative. Okay, oh, let's we do got another folks. Edgar. Hold on. Okay. Let's do the old folks at home thing.
Why did why does Dave in the chat room is don't leave Dave? Did I sign his door? Where do you see that? In the chat room. Probably way back. Wow. Oh, there we go. Uh, he number changed his name back. Pretty soon there's some people who might not be able to listen. We are at 37 now. Whoa, we're getting popular. Hold on. College sucks. S u c k s dot org. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get it, you know. Okay, hold on. We got another head here. <laughs> I've seen your hits. You don't need that. <laughs> hey, I know, and I haven't even done pranks in a while. Yeah. How long has your site been around? Um, it's coming up on its three-year anniversary. That's it? Yeah. Wow. It's a young baby. Mm-hmm. It was pretty dumb before, but we'll talk about that later when we need to buy time because no one's answering the phone because it's so late. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Well, it's not really late. Yeah, I love how it says that showcast. It says, now playing Gladys Soundboard number 21, Drunk Bill. <laughs> Hello? Hello, how are you doing, DM? What can I do for you? This is Jill. I think you have the wrong number. I don't understand. The phone just rang here at the home, and I picked it up, and there you well, are. Well, that's what I did here, right? I just picked it up. Hello? Hello? Can I help you? This is the search in the room. Sir, can I help you? Are you the one who called me? No, I, my phone just rang here. Are you looking for somebody in the home, maybe? This is Mrs. Rosenthal. <laughs> All right, hold on. We'll call her back like it happened again. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh. What? Let's be in the conversation when we when she picks up. All right. What do you want to talk about? As, no, I mean as the two characters. I know, but like what? We can't like we'll both pause because we'll be like, well, what do we say? Things in the home. Well, what do you like? I'll start it off. I'll complain about something. That's what old people always do. They always complain. Yeah, because they're old and bitter. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> because they were on the menu and then I get them and I cut them open and they're all pink inside. They weren't even... I happy. know. I, I, I can't believe it. Hello. And then the general, Hello. The general, Edgar, Edgar. I think someone answered. Hello. What? Hello? Ma'am, are you there? Welcome to the elderly party line. <laughs> I knew that was going to lose it. <laughs> Bad dude. The elderly party line. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dave said, we were talking, he's complaining about the cafeteria food. And, and, then I, and then she's still there, and then I was trying to get her on the phone, get her part of the conversation. And then Dave's like, welcome to the elderly party line. Can you hang her, hear her hang up really aggressively? <laughs> she's like, I'm 50, I'm not elderly yet. Yeah, I know. She's all pissed. <laughs> um, let's try S. S is a popular last name, right? Just try a few Edgars. Um, yeah, you're looking for two. women now, right? No, I'm looking up Edgars still. Oh, okay. Old men, if the, especially if we woke them up, they'll be like, what the fuck? They won't know what's going on. It'll be great. Old women are usually more angry and combative. Yeah, old men, we can fire up, though. We'll just say, like, snickerdoodle or something. Snickerdoodle? Yeah, they get old <laughs> Like, no tomorrow, dude. Put some match in their foot. Really? Yeah. Only snickerdoodle. One. I don't know. I think because they're old. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hello, who can I help you? This, this is Ed. What can I do for you? Who is this? Who are you calling for? I'm fine. I'm not calling anybody. This is the Evergreen Retirement Home. Who were you calling for? I'll go get them for you. You called here, didn't you? My uh, phone. Hello. Called. Hello. What, what can I do for you? I'm confused. This is Ed, and my phone just rang here. I I don't know what's going on over so, here. What did you call for? I, I Hello. Hello. Did we lose you? We lost. Damn. What about What's the best win amp? What? What's the best win amp? Five, dude. Okay. Why? I'm wondering if I would upgrade.
Priest. It's pretty cool with the media library thing. It's got a built-in media search. It. Right? What? It's got a built-in media search or something? Well, no, it's got that, and it's got the media library. I get a lot of hits off of something called Singing Fish yet. Have you heard of that? Um, I think so. It's I think it's a media archiving place. It's the same thing as that Windows media search, yeah. except through AOL. Oh. Because I went to singingfish.com, and it said they were just bought by AOL. They're, oh, I thought you said blocked for a second there. No, they were bought by AOL. Okay, we got an Ethel now. Okay, Ethel. Ethel has to be a last name. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a first name of an old person. Uh-huh. All right, hold on. Wearing a house dress with a flower print on it, with her old varicose veiny legs, and her droopy kneecaps, and her... Diaper smell. Okay, you start. Snow Patrol? No. What is that shit on the line? But that's your crap-ass cordless. It's not, I'm not on a cordless. You're on a house phone? And yeah, I'm on a landline. Huh. I don't see how it would be go, it, going in and out if it's me, because I'm sitting perfectly still. Yeah, but you're on the cordless, man. Yeah, no, not me. I'm like two it's feet from you. the base. It's you trying to blame that shit on me. Now I'm yeah. walking around and it sounds fine. All right, hold on. Yeah, try to blame me. <laughs> Have you seen the Jessica hat picture yet? Yes, I saw that last show. What do you think? Do you think that's in poor taste or no. pornographic? No, it's funny. Uh, see, I, think I, I may be, if you worry about the pornography aspect, like people can handle a scrotum shot. Yeah. With Keith's dick being in it, you might want to blur that out. You think? Well, I'm just saying, if you worry about the pornography aspect, like people can take a scrotum, they're not going to be that offended, but you whip a dick in there too. So maybe I want to crop them, like, really close. So all these no, no, like or you just mosaic. Yeah, okay. To dick out. Yeah, good idea. You know, gauzy and blurred or something. Yeah, I can do that. That's a good idea. Oh, no, leave it up to me, man. I got you. I don't know. The page is up there. It's, it's still on the server. It's not like anything, but it's still there. Did you hear that? What? I just farted on the phone. Oh. Listen. Did you hear it? Okay. Did you hear it? Now you've got to talk with your phone smelling like your ass. That's no big deal. <laughs> okay, call somebody All and right. say, my phone smells like my ass. All right, hold on. <laughs> hey, Zach. Hmm. Can you do me a favor? Hmm. Check the radio prank stream. Oh, you broke up. Check the radio prank stream. All right. Yes. 
Did your phone smell? Mine, mine smells like my ass. You better go to bed. You better go to bed. I think you're drunk. Uh, no, actually, uh, it's, no. It's well past my bedtime. Mark Lyman, knock it off. Mark? Mark Lyman. Bye. We'll call you back. Once in a while, but we'll call Mark. Ethel? Bye. No, Ethel. Ethel, this is Mark. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good night. Ethel, no, seriously. Are you mad? Good night. Ethel, are you mad? It's Mike. Yeah, <laughs> I was in bed asleep. Were you in bed? Yes. I'm sorry. I've been, uh, I've had a rough night. Yeah. No, uh, um, my wife left me. Well, I can't help that. No, but so I've been drinking. And I just need someone to talk to. You want to talk? No. I, I, can I just tell you my side of the story and you can tell me what you think? Ethel, seriously, this means a lot to me. I just... It's uh-huh. been rough. Well, you know, and I, I've, I've said some prayers, but I I just don't know if I, I, if I can wait for an answer. Will you hear my side, Ethel, for me? No. Please, Ethel, could you stay up just a little bit longer and I can tell you my side, and you can tell me how much of a lying, cheating bitch my wife is? I don't even know you who your wife is. You never met my wife? No. Oh, really? Oh, let me tell you a story then, girl. You got time for a story? No. Ethel? No. All right, so she comes home, like from the, from the grocery store, and she's, this other guy's with her, because she thought I'd be, I was supposed to work today, but I didn't, and she took the car, because normally a friend picks me up, and this guy comes in with her, and then, so they're coming in, and I'm watching TV, and I hear him come in, I'm like, oh, hi, honey. And then I hear her drop a bag of groceries. And so I run in there, and this guy's trying to leave the house. And so then I'm like, hey, who the hell is that guy? And so I run after him. Ethel? Yeah. All right, and so I run after him, and I tackle him. And it turns out that he's this guy who's, like, only wearing one shoe. And I have this rule about tackling guys who wear one shoe. I can't do that. So I let him go, and I go back inside. My wife's in there, and she's all crying and shit. Like she didn't do something wrong. She's like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm like, well, why are you crying then? And she's like, oh, I don't know. I didn't do it. So, I mean, what do you think? Ethel? I don't know. I mean, whose fault is it? Looks like there's both of you. Both of us? Yeah. What about in the eyes of the Lord? Well, I guess. I don't know. Who is this, anyhow? This is Mike. Mike who? Mike, that last name that you said earlier. Lyman. Yeah, Lyman. I don't think so. Yeah, I, like I said, I've been drinking a lot of alcohol. I don't know any Mike Lyman. Then why did you say the name? Did you I didn't. make it up? I said Mark Lyman. No. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You want to bet? Yes. How much? How much money you got in your purse? I'll even let you use your change purse. I don't have any money. You don't ha- You don't have any money? No. Where do you, how do you live? Month by month. Oh, I know that story, sister. And I work, so. That's good. I, I work, too. Good night. I'm a panhandler. Good night. Got any spare change? No. Good you, night. You can send it to me. I don't have any. Oh, please. No. Nope. Ethel? No. Nope. You've, you've been a lovely listener. Good night. Okay, sweet dreams. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. I get the last word, not you. Good night. Have a good night. Good night.
the delay is usually not so bad that I can go back and I can't go back and use people's idea from the chat room. Bastard. <laughs> comment. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> and it's saying we saw comment. I agree. <coughs> what? <laughs> so the delay isn't that bad. They're commenting on what we're saying right now, so the delay isn't so bad. Okay. <coughs> so what, who do you want to call? Get now? involved, people. Um, let me call somebody from a private message here. Do you want to call up this person who is named Spank Monkey? Spank Monkey? In Santa Rosa, California. I guess somebody who is on People Page is listed as Spank Monkey. All right, message me the number. So it must be somebody who wants some pranks. Are you calling or do you want me to call? Um, I have the phone card. Oh, okay. So I can call. It should be in my coat pocket. Okay, let me... Okay. So I'm going to have to go get it from my coat. All right. I'll be right back. All right. You know, I hate people that use shorthand. Yeah, well, it's cool it's, if it's like universally understood what it means. No, it's a fucking keyboard. It's invented to, to communicate quicker. What is three more keystrokes, you know, in my... Battlefield's a long word. So what? Just type a little bit longer. You gotta send it right then. It's already delayed. Just give it a little bit more. It's not gonna make a difference. Shit, I'm, I'm pretty sure I left the fucking phone in, phone card in the car. Can and I, now we gotta go out to the car? <laughs> Well, I guess I, I should play a song or something and go out to the car and get the card. I'll do that. You could probably, I could probably take the phone with me. The car's not that far from here. <laughs> Someone, let me open this back up again, and I'll be right back. Hold. <coughs> anyway, I got my phone card, and I got my beer and my bowl, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so do we want to call this spank monkey person? Sure. I guarantee it's not a real number. Or it's somebody who wants pranks. What? It could be somebody who wants to get pranked. Yeah, call them up. We'll give it a try. Okay. Oh, well. Give up. I can close that one out. No more Mr. Monkey Spank. Spank Monkey, whatever it is. Spank Monkey. <laughs> I got some clever names from Neo. Hisako Rockwood, Marsha Fungi. <laughs> Are you there? No. You're nodding off on me. No, I'm searching a number. The best idea is my little my little magic book of local phone numbers that our town puts out. Invaluable. Does, it, does your town do that? No. Put our, our, our town's too big. Oh yeah, we got a We got like 80,000 people between West Lafayette and Lafayette. It's a trade paper back size book that's about 150 pages long, everybody in the town here. Guess how small it is. Yeah, where I used to live, used to do that. We got, um, who do you, how about somebody with the name Rizvik? Sure. Sejla Rizvik. Damn, I didn't know we had people like that in this town. Oh, I'm trying to think of Ethel's last name that we just called. No, R- Rizvik is the first name, so it's uh, Rizvik Seg- Segula. Segula. Whatever. We'll give him a call? Sure. Okay. This is the new Milford Retirement Home. Can I help you? I think you got to uh, the wrong level. Wait, I, I'm not calling anybody. You called here. Now, what can I do for you? No, no, you call me. I just ring the phone. Were you calling people in your sleep or something? You sound like you're half asleep. No, you just wake me up. But anyway, don't call please back. Don't call please back. Who's please back? <laughs> Zach? Did we lose Zach? Zach? Mm-hmm. Did I lose her or did I forget to click over? You forget to click over. Oh, damn it. I did it again. Did they answer? Yeah, he answered. You'll hear it in a minute. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. 
We got Dick Grobel. Um, City Suck Pump Away. What? That's what it says. City Suck Pump Away. <laughs> All right, here's the call. Yeah. You. Well, I have to have it up loud enough so that I can hear the phone, you know? Yeah. I turn the volume down a little so I won't. Okay, okay, everybody just heard that. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Go ahead and call that dude. Which one? Same guy? No, the dude. What dude? The, the guy with the really long name. What's up with Dan? I don't know. Damn, my speakers are barely on. Don't turn them on at all. They have to be on or I can't hear you. You know what I mean? Can't you hear through your headset? Well, not if I turn the volume down. On your speakers? Oh. Well, I'm, I can't turn the volume down on the speakers. I'm not on the good computer. I'm on the crappy one. Okay. Well, I'm this computer's again. a lot faster, but the audio panel on this thing is not half as good as the other computer. I don't have, like, a volume control on the speakers like I used to. And I'm not crawling behind the tower to unplug the speakers at this point. Right? All right. No, Whatever, just make it work. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> Okay, how about, um, Isabel Robolino? You want to call her? Sure. Why not? Isabel Robolino. Easy number two. Okay, now you're there. Yeah. Okay. The number you have reached is... Wow. It's a strong... Here, let me try a number. Okay. I got a Jasper. That sounds like an old guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jasper. Jasper, the friendly elderly guy. But I bet you're not. He's probably angry. Hello, sir, the guy. 
guy listening in the background, what's your name? Uh, yeah, did they hang up on you? No, that was going to be part of the call. What? When I came in and started talking in my real voice, that was going to be part of the call. Oh, well, I didn't know. I was still listening. I, was I gonna, know, I didn't know. I was going to come back in and act like we were, like, randomly dialing old people and connecting them. <laughs> oh. Damn it. We can call back. <laughs> no. But that's an idea to keep on the back burner for another time. If you yeah, can keep somebody alive for a while. There we go. Hold on a second. Okay. But Josh had a good idea. He just called Rich Boss and asked why he didn't put the link up. And he's got the number here. This could be the number to Randy Quaid. Oh, I thought that was the number for Rich. Do you know who Randy Quaid is? I know Dennis Quaid. You have Rich. Hello, seven four. Please leave a message. Hello, Lynn, you there? Lynn, it's me. Pick up the phone if you're there. Hello, Lynn. Lynn, 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 Lynn. Head in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh, okay. You know who he is now? Yeah. That might be his phone number here. You might have it. I might. Josh says it might be him, so you want to give it a try? Sure. What do we say to Randy Quaid? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You ever seen the movie Parents? Mm, no. A dark comedy about parents who want to eat their kids? No, I believe so. You know, I want to now. <laughs> yeah. You rent that movie, Parents, with Randy Quaid. It's pretty good. A very deep, dark, black comedy about uh, a little kid who's starting to suspect that his parents want to eat him. <laughs> and he might be right. That's funny. Is that your pussy? Yeah. Aw. What's his name? It's her. What's her name? Cleo. Cleo. Like on um, Heathcliff, huh? Yeah. Is that where it's from, Heathcliff? No, I didn't name it. Oh, okay. Is that where she named it from? I have no idea. Well, you ought to ask her sometime. I should. And then Wilson, he's just sleeping on a chair. Those are the little uh, nuances that you need to know to be on the newlywed game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm going to try right away. I'll be right back. All right. Hello? Hello? Who's this? 
是我。
and I wrote it down. Right. And he gave me the phone number here, the 6516. Okay. But then he, your Grandpa, you appear to be looking for somebody named Tim. Oh, you, no, no, is no, there no, a no. Tim reporter? There's absolutely no Tim. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm the, uh, 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 the head of the house, uh, um, and uh, um, I have three children and, uh, and a wife. That's pretty much uh, the whole whole story. No, no, no Tim. No, no, no Tim. Not even a relative yeah. Tim. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty peculiar. Yeah, it is pretty peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you, are, you guys, are you guys are located, uh, both of you guys located in, in the Milford there? I'm living in the Fairfield, and I'm I live, live, I live. Live. So you're on the other side of the lake, okay. Uh, so now, now you, you, you were going to go fishing. Uh, you, you, you were expecting me to take you fishing? or? or well, he was off? saying that he met Ron Reperger in yeah. the diner and that he, they were talking about fishing and that Ron had said that he'd never been fishing before and uh, Grandpa had some old lures and they were going to go out and he, he said he have, has these magical lures that just lure fish in magically. Oh, they're magnificent. I, I caught one day, 12 white mouth bass. Well, that's, that's that pretty is, good. That I, is impressive, Grandpa. And these... These hands, you know, they just, I know how to work a bait caster. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that, that open real shit ain't for me. Bait caster. That's, 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 that's interesting. Now, right. on, but on yeah. Tuesday, I, I like to watch, I like to watch Oprah. Okay. Well, that's, 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 that's nice. I, I, I just want to get, um, I, I, I have not, um, I, I've, I've gone to a diner, I think, with my son perhaps about a month ago, and uh, we didn't really talk to anybody there. Um, so I, I, and on the side of that, I don't remember being to a diner for probably, uh, uh maybe two, two years or so, actually, so I, I really uh, haven't, haven't Maybe, been, um, I don't, I don't know. Well, you, you got my name and you got my number, it's definitely, uh, uh, Grandpa, uh there. I, Grandpa, could, could, could it be that you're forgetting why you were supposed to call Mr. Reperger? Maybe there was a different reason you were supposed to call him? I mean, no. You you obviously were supposed to go fishing with somebody else. Tim. Okay, Tim. but you you gave me the you gave me this number and this name and you had you said you had it written down and you yeah I mean I, I gave you the damn number I mean can you type it in like you know, that's why I don't know, you dial it. No, I got the right number. What are you calling? Is this Tim? No, my name is Ron, and I, I, I know a Tim I mean, uh, at my church. Uh, outside of that, I really don't know... Uh, a church, you say. Yeah, I, go, I go to a church, yes. And, and actually, uh, it's in Oxford, Connecticut, so it's a pretty good distance away okay. from here, so... Okay. Um, and um, I, do, I, do, I, do, I got the name of Tim Rose. Actually, outside of that, I don't think I know any other Tims. <laughs> There's got to be another reason why Grandpa was uh, trying to contact you. Do you remember giving your phone number to some uh, um, um, an elderly man? I'm, uh, no, I'm not I'm sure that it's... They had to do with with uh, fishing. Was fishing. It, could it be, be business related? No, you see, I, I work in I work in Stamford, Connecticut, and, and it's a very good distance away. And I don't, uh, unfortunately, do not get to uh, uh, get involved with many things in the town itself. I mean, I, outside of going to uh, stop and shop in, in Walmart up there, it's about the extent of my. Uh, uh, activities in the Milford side. Right. Uh, I, I really can't see that as a. Uh, it is just uh, now, well, let me ask you: uh, Do you have an actual need to? Uh, 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 do you need any, any help or something like that, or is there some kind of uh, 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 assistance getting to some place, perhaps? I mean, or is it just that you were? Uh, no, I was planning a, a, a trip with my friend. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I tell you, we're not friends anymore, so you don't want to go. Well, I, I I'll come. <laughs> I didn't say that. I mean, it's uh, it's a possibility. I can go fishing with you. It may not be tomorrow, but uh, uh, if, if it's well, not, you, you want me to, if I can't find Tim, you want me to give you a call back? Uh, if if you need somebody to go fishing with, I mean, uh, I, I I can do that for you if you'd like. Um, I'd take my son along with me, I guess, and um, and make it make it a possibility. But I, I'm sorry, I don't know you, and uh, you know, I I just uh, would be a little bit. Uh, well, uh, you know, I do generally I like to meet somebody before I go out and do something, but if you if you need somebody to go fishing with and, and you don't have anybody, I, I certainly uh would want to uh you know, uh, uh keep you company at least and uh it's a possibility, so Okay, well God bless you. And I'm sorry that we bothered you with all of our nonsense. No, it's, it's not a problem. I mean, I, I understand that uh, you know sometimes uh, you know people can get forgetful or or, uh, or some problems like that. And, and if you definitely need a friend or something like that to go fishing with, uh, uh, perhaps the spring. I think it's a little bit cold out there now. Ice right? fishing <laughs> is the best. What's that? Ice fishing is the best. Well, I. Uh, that's true, but 
the ice is, the problem with the ice right now is just, um, it's been very warm, well, somewhat warm, I guess, and, the, and it's just starting to form. Like, where, where do you go? Kennewick Lake, perhaps, or, uh? No, I got a, a a Greg, he's got, he's got some smaller ponds. Okay. So they'll freeze quicker. Oh, okay. There's a move is quick. Yeah, I guess if they, I guess if there's smaller ponds and you get another good week of solid cold weather, you might be able to get a, maybe about four inches of ice. Yeah, he was saying, he, he was saying he still had about five inches. Five inches, so that's that's a, that, that's that's pretty good. I know. I mean, that it's perfect. Yeah, that's about right. I would think. Put enough safety underneath you. Right. You got those traps, I guess, with the flags on them. Is that what oh, you yeah. do? Got that, and then you know those little, those little rod and reels. Oh, okay. I I'm not definitely. I, I've seen some of those traps that actually the flag goes up, but uh, uh, outside of uh, fishing. I don't know. I mean, I, I, fishing, fishing uh, to me is a, it's a lot of waiting, and I just don't. I, I'm more of an active person. <laughs> it's, 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 but nothing beats the exhilaration of a bite. That, well, I you know I've, I've, I've done fishing before, and, you know, and that's true. But uh, but yeah, I mean, if you have to wait two or three hours, it, it, true. It, it's a long time for exhilaration. But uh, I tell you what. Um, uh, if, if you'd like to call me back sometime, and perhaps I, I you know, suggest some time when, it, when it's warmer, I guess. Okay. I'm not too crazy about going out in the ice cold. Okay. Uh, um, I, I'd love to take. Yeah, I'd like to show me some of the, the uh, areas that you fish, and I'd, I'd love to go. Okay. Well, uh, I'll call you back. Call yeah. me back sometime, and, and uh, you know, it, it, uh, unfortunately, I I I, uh, I don't want to blow you off here, but I, right now in this cold weather, I don't think it's probably the best time to go. So totally uh, understandable. Uh, uh, springtime would be probably a good time to to, to check it out. So, all right. Okay. Okay, sir. Well, sorry, I, sorry for the misunderstanding, and uh, you have a good night. Well, right. You have a good night. Too. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Well, it sounds like you got a date to go fishing. I guess. That guy was the nicest guy ever. I know. I, I totally wasn't going to be mean to him. I know. <laughs> this guy, when we just pranked, was the nicest guy. That was a guy long conversation. Ever. Yeah, because we were doing, like, old senile grandpa. He totally bought it. And he totally bought it, and, like, <laughs> felt bad, because I said I needed a fishing partner, and he's like, well, I'll go with you, and, you know, do you need help? I'll help you, and now he wants to call him back when he gets You know why? Because he's a religious back. person. So. Probably is. Yeah, he must be, like, a really, like, holy roller. Well, and you know he's probably really religious if he's driving a far distance for a church. Yeah, because he's used to live there like probably an hour. moved. Oxford is an hour. Damn, dude. Yeah, he's religious. Yeah, he's driving an hour to church. And, yeah. like, someplace else for work. Well, Stanford is like an hour and a half away. Yeah. But he lives on a really nice road, Overlook Drive. Oh, oh yeah. Houses. Yeah, he's loaded. A lot of rich people around here, except me. I'm bringing down the uh, the average. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Both Damn, dude. <laughs> wow. Oh. That was a wet one. I've only had one beer so far. i got to pick up the pace. Yeah. <laughs> Let me, uh, let me do a check and see how many people are listening. Then I'll go and check my private messages. Is anyone else going to call? Oh, we're at 40. That means we're maxed out and nobody else can listen. Oh, uh -oh. Boy. So hopefully other people... Shit, nobody else can listen because Radio Prank didn't do what they said. Bastards. Yeah, I wonder what scared them off. Maybe I played a song. Could be. Oh, I don't think they're going to sue. Even if there's 100 people listening to your stream. What is that, a dollar? Yeah, you're not going to spend thousands of dollars to get your dollar that you owe them. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just ridiculous. If you had like thousands and thousands of listeners, and then it would be like even only a thousand thousands of dollars still. It still wouldn't be worth going after you. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so do you want to try something or do you want me to, me to try? Mm, up to you, dude. I want to hear the story about your site before the prank calls. How long was your site around before you did prank calls? Oh, I've been doing the prank calls. I've been doing those for longer than a site. How long have you had like a site that had prank calls on it? Oh shit! Forever. Since <laughs> I've been doing prank phone calls. How long is that? Like five years? Well, since '97. Since '97. Yeah, five. Well, years. seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's a long time. So how'd you start out? You had some prank calls in somebody else's site? No, I had my own site, but I didn't have my own domain name. You, you did the free thing? It, well, yeah. Yeah, and it was at, it was at Zoom, X-O-O-M. Uh-huh, I remember. Because they had, like, unlimited storage. Really? Yeah. Damn. And I knew how to get around their image shit. Oh, really? Yeah. So, you could go to my site, Banner Free, because I had one of those redirection dot twos. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I had prank calls on there and shit. And then what I 
did the college sucks. Like, I was telling people I did prank phone calls, and, like, everyone liked them. Yeah. And I was like, huh. And so I started doing more. Like, I redid them again. You know, I had a few old ones from my high school days and shit. Uh-huh. And then I just started having prank phone call Wednesday nights in my dorm. Uh-huh. And, like, everyone on my floor would come in my room. That's sort of like we're doing right now. Yeah. And prank so call Saturday night. Yeah, and we'd all do prank phone calls. And I would put it on my, uh, my FM transmitter. That way people could tune them on the radios. Oh, awesome. You have an FM transmitter? Yeah, it's, still, it's just a little one. That's about, like, 30 feet. Oh, really? Yeah. So I could get, like, everyone that was in our vicinity on, like, our wing of the floor. Yeah. And then everyone would just tune in and, like, people would call in and then make requests and stuff. Like, I had my first request ever. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you have it recorded? Yeah. And you did the prank? Yeah. Was the prank any good? It was okay. Cool. And so we just did that. And then all the new ones I made from that, that's pretty much where my huge collection came from. Yeah. I don't have many of my, my really old calls on my website. So all the calls on my website are like college and after. Uh-huh. There's a few choice selections from my high school days. But... Put them up if they're funny. Well, like, I, I mean, there's a few up there, but I'm trying to remember all of them. Well, I was pacing it, I think, or something. I don't know. Uh-huh. And then there's ones from, like, late middle school. Uh-huh. And it was just... You were doing pranks in middle... Well, I guess I was too, wasn't I? Too bad I didn't have this one recorded. <clears throat> this is a prank that me and... Uh, I used to manage for Domino's Pizza when I was like 18 years old. I was a manager for Domino's Pizza. Man, you've been a manager your whole life. Yeah, really. And uh, the phone girl there, you know, on a Sunday morning, it's always slow. Nobody's eating pizza Sunday morning. So we would do our prank calls on Sunday morning. Me and this incredibly, incredibly hot chick that used to work there. She was so hot. Ugh, the phone girl. And I, I called up somebody, and um, I acted like... Uh, I got an answering machine, and it was a woman on the answering machine, so I acted like I was uh, a guy, you know, no, it was the other way, I'm trying to remember the story now, but it was like the husband on the answering, whatever it was, I tried to pretend like the the the, uh, the woman's boyfriend, or the wife's boyfriend in the house, and I left a message, but and then we called back the next week, and she did the talking, and she was saying that she was my wife. You know, because they remember it from the week before. Uh-huh. And she got a person this time, and she was talking to this, this woman. And, uh, yeah, talking to this guy about his wife cheating with me and how she had got the number in my pants pocket or something. And then, you know, he gets all concerned and he hangs up. And then we call back the week later, and I asked for him because I learned his name in the other calls, and she said he doesn't live here anymore. No way. Isn't that horrible? Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't know if it's something that we did. They might have been having trouble, you know. Yeah. Put the final nail in the coffin. I don't know. She was funny as hell. I was in a bad mood one day. She was trying to cheer me up. So the store was right in front of a a busy road, like, leading to the highway. Really busy. So she just, um, she drops her pants, and she walks out in front of the store with her pants around her ankles, like, waving to the cars going by, just to make me laugh. And she was hot. Oh, boy. God, you're so heterosexual. Well, she was hot. She was she was a blonde. She was only like five foot four, really, really thin. She could have been a model. I listen to you. Yeah, I used to work with a model. Well, she could she could have been. Did you do it? No. Why not? Because I had a boyfriend at the time. You had a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. You're getting ass instead of a nice, warm. Vagina. Well, I haven't gotten to the, the, the part where I started cheating yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, actually, I did cheat a couple times. With her? No, 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 no. no. Why not? I'm not good, good looking enough to get a girl like her. Yeah. Why not? Well, you're, I mean, you're only a little bit ugly. <laughs> but she was a 10. She was a 10? Yeah. A full 10? Yeah. She didn't have, like, that one acne or, like... No. Well, she had... Weird elbows? She had a little bit of a ghetto accent. That was sort of a turn off. But that's about it. A ghetto accent. Yeah, she talked like a... Well, we're going back uh, 14 years, so a homegirl back then isn't what it is now. It wasn't as wiggery as it is now, but... Is is what? All the vernacular and all the ebonics hadn't been invented yet, so it wasn't wasn't as pronounced as it is nowadays, but she was a ghetto girl. Oh. I gotcha. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Do you want to make another prank, or should I let you go so that somebody else can call in? Yeah, I'll listen for a while. You'll listen for a while? Does that mean you want to go? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. Maybe other people can partake in the festivities. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Zach, it's always great hearing from you. Yeah. Thank you for your tech help. Oh, Wait, no let me think. Do I need any tech help right now? No, I think I figured everything out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I was having a problem the other day when I couldn't figure out how to direct light. But that's easy. All I have to do is add the HD docs. That's fine. Yeah. And um, I was having another problem with setting up a SEPTI subdomain, but I got it all set. I, 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 I wanted to set up crystalsphere.kdkprankcalls.com, but I guess we don't need to because it's just kdkprankcalls.com backslash crystalsphere now, so... Oh, we can still set it up. Well, it doesn't really matter anymore. You know, there's no big deal where the crystal sphere goes, I guess. Yeah, but it looks more impressive if they go to crystal sphere. You think? Okay, how would I set that up? I'll send you a link. Okay. Well, until next time. Yeah, check you later, man. I'll talk to you online. All right, bye-bye. And that was Zachary B. from org. And I'm going to go into the chat room. Let me get my beer here. This is only beer number two, so I need to step up my drinking pace. I'm going to close out Josh's I I am because I don't remember the phone number for Rich Voss, and I didn't write it down. So if anybody has that Voss number, I'll call him back, and I'll ask him why he never put up a link for me. To be honest with you, I didn't really think he ever would put up a link. And I think we wrote to the wrong person. We needed to write to his webmaster and not he himself, but that's okay. Did you figure out the problem with my site yet? What is the URL? Could you call me later if you have the time? If not, message me. Okay, Sethi, if you want me to call you, give me your phone number in the chat room. If you're still in, is he even still in the chat room? Yeah, he's still in the chat room. And then we move on to Jim. Oh, Jim. We haven't seen Jim in a while. 3775, Jim. I don't know if I can call Canada, but this is the home number of a crazy ex-city councillor who is running for mayor. The guy is being sued by four people. And it's a, it's a regular... Um, hmm. It's a regular ten-digit number. I should be able to call it. Uh, WWE Stunner gives me... A, a phone number for the WWE and says you can say that you're upset that Stone Cold has returned or the way that the woman okay now I'm going to read it exactly as it's written here because it's confusing me <laughs> you can say that you're upset that Stone Cold has returned or the way that the woman or used on television to give you some ideas I don't have a problem with that but you can use it to get yourself a call going hmm. hey why don't you prank RadioPrank.com and say that you dislike the website until you reveal that it is you. Hmm. I kind of think he, he's going to know any voice that I do. He plays my prank calls all the time and he listens. Um, check the chat room for my ideas if you could use it or not. Just an idea. Hmm. Well, I, I think if we call the WWE now, we'll get a machine. So, if you get the home phone number for Vince McMahon or his cell phone number, that I would call. And then we have Stan with Al Sabatka, the Zamboni driver for the Red Wings. To hear who's calling, press 1. Call from Aline. To take this call, press 1. Now connecting. Go ahead, please. Aline. Hey, Ben. Hello. What's up, man? <laughs> now I guess what movie I rented today. What movie? Bubble Boy. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> Is it any good? It's pretty, it's stupid funny, you know. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I figured. <laughs> well, you know the delay is really short because right right when you picked up the phone, I heard the ringing on the delay. Oh really? <clears throat> that's awesome, cool. So we're really interactive tonight. So if people go into the chat room, I'll be able to see what you say almost instantaneously. Okay, you have me worried this this uh, evening. Oh, I was... Uh, I was like, oh, no, Ted's going to pull a no-show, and tonight I feel like doing a show for once. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I was uh, spending quality time with my wife. Aww. It was an ongoing celebration of my birthday yesterday. Oh, yes, that's right. Monkey Rick, you reminded me yesterday was your birthday. Happy birthday. How are, how old are you now, 25? 27. 27. Wow, you just... You know I, know, I know I'm old when I'm thinking, 27, wow, that's young. <laughs> <laughs> I remember 27. You know, 
You sound a little down, Ted. Are you, are you okay? No, I'm sick. That's the damn problem. Oh. I've been having a cold all week. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> yeah, I caught it from my family. Oh. <laughs> nasty <laughs> retrovirus. And a lovely parting gift. <laughs> the flu? Oh, I'm trying all this voodoo magic, too, that doesn't work. Holistic oh, medicine? Yeah, Zycam and, you know, shoot zinc up your nose and... Shoot drinking, zinc up your nose? <laughs> drinking herbal teas and... It doesn't... <laughs> I don't know. Can't go by yourself. The strongest medicine known to man. NyQuil. <laughs> you'll black oh, out... Oh, that's big fucking cue. You'll, yeah, you'll black out and you'll wake up tomorrow feeling half, half as good. And then you do it again and you'll feel better again. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, that, that's what well, you're the whole Yeah, you got to sleep a cold off. I mean, that's the whole idea. Yeah. Yeah. you got to get under our covers, fall asleep, and sweat to death, and then you'll be better. Yep. They never, they never, wanna, they never understand that at work. Every time I have a cold, they're like, well, can you just come in anyway? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm not even supposed to be making food when I have a cold. Yeah, I'll be like... Ding! It's up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm coughing and sneezing all over everybody's food. That, you know, There are laws against that. If they see me with a cold, they're supposed to send me home. Not tell me i got to come in when I'm sick. You ever gotten on a plane, and then there's this guy, and there's always that guy in the back around this time of year. Who's just guy hacking guy. and coughing and just sounds like he's about to die. Yeah. And as soon as you hear it, you're like, oh, shit, I'm going to be sick when I get off this plane. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's what happened. So I don't know. I think I think uh, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> was the guy who uh, gave me a little present. Doesn't that suck? I hate that. It's like it's a tube. Like you at know? work. <laughs> you have the one workaholic at work who never wants to call in sick because he wants to be able to say he hasn't called in sick in years. Right. He, he just goes in and makes everybody else sick. Yeah, that's what the lady across from me at work does. Yeah. She'll, like, close her door for a second and just, like, know, rip, her, shit rip her lungs out, of, out for a second and dust <laughs> them off and put them back in. <laughs> oh. Like, shit, go now home. Well, I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. Uh, are you up for making pranks or are you just trying oh, yeah, to... Yeah, sure. You feel like it? Yeah, my brother wanted to wanted to hear me do some, but he, he didn't hold on long enough. He went to sleep, I think. Oh, okay. We're maxing out tonight, Ted. So that means I don't think Radio Prank did the simulcast like he said he was going to. Have you tried that link on the site? Uh, I haven't. No. Uh, well, you know, I can I can add like with my DSL, I can add like ten more listeners next time. But that's <clears throat> that's all I can do. No, we got to we got to get other people out there to to help in the cause here. Stephanie was doing it for the past couple of weeks. And now, for some reason, he's not doing it. Huh. He's we, in the chat room. We need to get more people to to run the relay or to run an alternative, uh, you know, a simulcast. Radio Prank has like a hundred listener slots or something. Yep. But I don't know why. The email I read to him said that he would, he would, he sent me a link. He said it'll open up in Windows Media Player and that's where it'll be simulcasting and it'll be able to hold 40 to 80 people. Did anyone try it yet? Well, Zach said he tried it and they were playing old pranks. Oh. Oh, well. I don't know. I talked to Bob and he seems like a cool guy, but he he keeps saying he's going to simulcast and he doesn't. Probably the music thing. Well, he didn't say that to me. He said oh, he didn't? I brought that up to him. I said, um, I said, I think I asked him if he's afraid of being sued for, like, the couple pennies he's going to end up owing them. And he said that, um... Or maybe I asked him if he was afraid of copyrighted music. And he said that he didn't want to steal any of your thunder. Like, he thought you would get mad if he started doing the simulcast. Which I thought it was cool that he was looking out for you. Yeah. But I don't think it would really bother you, would it? No. Because he said it, and then I'm thinking, I was like, no, I don't think... I don't think Ted... That, that would no, help. I'm not it. making money. Yeah, really. It's, <laughs> it's just, Ted Webb is a uh, non-profit. All the monies we make go to help little kitties. Yeah, that is cool. That's definitely cool. <laughs> An animal shelter. What is it? Um, it's a. It's a. They don't put down any animals. They no, keep they'll keep them for their day. whole life. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, there's a Siamese cat rescue that I donate to. 
Siamese. Yeah, if you go, if you look up the Siamese cat rescue, it, it's a, it's a place that takes in Siamese cats and finds homes for them, usually through the internet. You know, there are people who will like fly a cat to somebody. Well, Mr. Happy wants to, uh, says he can hold like 40 people. Mr. Happy, what are you waiting for? That's awesome. That'd be great if you could get it going. Tell me what to do. That's what he said. I'm okay. <laughs> Tell me what to do and I can hold about 40 people. Um, you know, maybe I ought to post something on the bulletin board that explains to people how to do a relay. You know? Or how yeah. to... If, if you want to run a simulcast, all you got to do is open up your, your shoutcast if you already have shoutcast installed and just listen and broadcast at the same time. Yep. That's all you got to do. The hard part is installing the, uh, the shoutcast and explaining to people how to use it the first time. It is a little confusing. He's got a two megabyte up and down line. He can get more than 40 people then. Two megabyte up and down? Yeah. That, that's, um, we're at 24K and that's 2000K? Yep. Well, shit, man, get it going. <laughs> <laughs> really? How many fucking people is that? Let's fill it up. I don't have the time for. You got like 83 people. That would be awesome. <laughs> I, 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 I wish people. Radio Prank would just do the simulcast, you know? Maybe run a disclaimer before the show saying that we're not responsible for anything he does, anything he plays, anything he says. <laughs> and then I come on and just blame me. If if people ever want to sue you for playing copyrighted music, send them after me. Yeah. They, we'll, give they, a, we'll give them a check for two cents. Yeah. I'll give them, I'll give them uh, one of the KDK checks I never cashed. The first one that I got for seven bucks, I'll, I'll give them that one. Oh, for, uh, for the CDs? Andrew Excess bought a CD from me, and I never cashed the check. I just kept it because it was like he was the first person to buy one. Oh. Andrew Excess has the distinction of o- owning the first uh, the bo- Well, I ended up sending him a, a bunch of CDs, and I never cashed the check. So well, if there's ever a prank call museum, yeah. <laughs> There you go. Okay, Daniel. now he's making me feel real bad about how little bandwidth I have. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay, let's make a call. I have my little, my little. Do you want to? Is there somebody in particular you want to call? You remember that person who was so angry last week? Oh shit! Damn, what was his name? Oh, it was Long Duong. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> Damn. How the fuck do you forget something like that? Man, the Long Duong. <laughs> Let's we'll start out with him, because we're probably going to call him a couple times. Yeah. Because he, he doesn't say much. He just yells. Hey! Ow! <laughs> Where the fuck is it? No, I got a lot of l Let me try San... I think he was in San Jose. I think that's how I got him right away. Hey, Ted, I got a bunch of new stuff for you. <laughs> don't Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I got like a whole folder of new stuff I'll have to send you sometime this oh, week. Oh, cool. There's a couple more I'm going to put in there. We did some soundboard calls the other night. I found them. Keith did some really funny soundboard calls. Oh, really? Calls. Yeah. Yeah, because Keith was good with the Gladys ones. Yeah, yeah. That, that's his, uh, that's what he likes to do. When it comes to pranks, he doesn't like to talk, but he'll do the soundboards. Yeah, soundboards are kind of cool because you sort of hide behind, you know. Yeah. You see, well, he gets nervous, and then he stutters, and then he can't think of things to say. He's got to get past, like, the nervousness. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm wondering, the first time I won't use a calling card, but I think subsequent times I might. <laughs> Mr. Happy says, I'll, I'll run the service for the live shows, otherwise I'm on EverQuest. <laughs> 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 well, that's okay, we only need it for the show here. Yeah, that's the same same thing with me. Is I, That's why I kind of put everything on... I was paying, I started paying for a server because I couldn't play any of my games anymore because all the bandwidth was taken up. Yeah. Uh, like, hey, Dad, I've noticed that you have had a lot more listeners lately. Yeah, I noticed that too. Your numbers really? have been really, really good lately. So, like, um, so congratulations. During, especially during work. Yeah. I was looking the other day. You were maxed out at like 3 in the afternoon. Awesome. It's you awesome because I wanted to listen, but it's <laughs> awesome that you were maxed. It reminds me of the old days when you used to have like 16 people and I could never yeah. get in there and listen. Or maybe it was 8 people. Were you yeah. ever 8? 
Yeah, in the beginning I was eight. I remember trying to listen. There were only eight spots, and I would, every couple of minutes I'd try to get in there, and I couldn't get in there. <laughs> it's like, you know, you just add some, and then eventually it fills. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool that it's getting popular, but it's, it's also getting to the point where you're like, hmm, you know, is it sustainable? <laughs> you know, people might get cranky if they can't get in ever. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to find a way to pay for it with ads. <laughs> That's true. Run some ads or something. Speaking of ads, um, I was thinking about making some commercials for the show that you could add to your stream, like so people could hear about it like during the, the week and stuff. Yeah, I, I've actually... I think I asked you to do that a long time ago, but you never went ahead and did it. <laughs> that wasn't so great. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, we were also, and, and also another thing, too, was um, okay. there was startup school at the end of the month, too, and I wanted to, like, drop flyers around where, like, the coffee stands are and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I can do some kind of graphic for that, I guess. Mm-hmm. Unless, you, unless you were planning yeah, on something? Cause, I don't know, because they always have, like, all these areas full of flyers and stuff that students can take. And uh-huh. So I, I think if I just had something that said prank calls, you know, people, I'm sure some people would pick it up. Or just free in big letters. And yeah, free prank, prank calls. Exactly, yeah. You know. Free MP3s. And just, like, put all of our sites on it or something like that. Yeah. It might work. Sure. Um, Can you do it. Mothy, oh, I've, I've been meaning to apologize to Mothy because I, I laid down, I think it was yesterday. <laughs> you know, I'm not even sure what day it was. I laid down to watch a movie, and I left game open, and he was trying to talk to me, so I didn't, I didn't want him to think I was mad at him. I just, I was asleep. I fell asleep watching George Romero's Day of the Dead on DVD. <laughs> Can you believe there's an expanded special edition version of George Romero's Day of the Dead? Oh, God. Have you ever seen that movie? Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah, yeah, very I, like, I like the mall scene. Or is that, that is Day of the Dead, is that Dawn of the Dead? That's Dawn. Dawn, okay. Yeah. Day of the Dead. Takes place on the ground, like military people and scientists. Oh, okay. That's really yeah, I had a, my best friend when I was a kid was, had like all of those on beta tapes. And oh, really? Used to make me watch them all the time. That's the payment was pizza and coke, so I. I, I <laughs> that's actually one of the ones that uh, actually has a pretty good plot, a good story, good acting, and everything. It's not just gore, but it's got plenty of that. It is. It. it I think, it, according to my recollection, I think it might have been the last major movie that was released unrated. I can't think of any other, like, wide release that was released without a rating since then. Can you think of any? only pays 70 bucks. Bad Lieutenant. That might have been, like, NC-17. Huh. Well, anyway, we got to do a prank. Well, you want to call him? You want to call Ron well. Reperger? Call up Ron Reperger and tell him that your friend Thurston was all excited that you, he, and Ron are going to go fishing together. <laughs> what is this number? No, I'm, I'm kidding. He's a nice guy. Let's leave him alone tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, he was too nice. Yeah, he, he was a holy ruler. We got, um... So, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch over and call Mr... Oh, you got Duong. it. That's right. Yeah, Luang Duong. Luang Duong. Okay. I'm wondering whether I should use a calling card, because he, he is kind of pissy, but he doesn't sound too intelligent. Yeah, he doesn't sound smart enough. If he called the phone company, they wouldn't understand him. Or if you hang up on them, keep yelling at them. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. Come and join us in the chat room. KDK Prank Call on Power. Oh no. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Man, he really is a prick. A couple couple of pranks and he's going to change his number. Change his freaking number. Oh, well. Oh, bastard. Oh, maybe it was Long Duong. I, I, you know, I got a... Yeah, might be freaking Vietnamese names, you know? I think we called them both. Okay, I think this is the, the jackass. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the one. Wong? Uh, Hi, how what? are you? Uh, who are you? My name is Jack. Uh, what? Hi, I'm calling from Fry's Electronics. Huh? I'm calling.
calling from Fry's Electronics. Electronics? No. What's the electronics? What was that? Huh? What did you call my family? No. No, no. Never. Hey. Hi. Hi. Fry's Electronics. I'm calling from Fry's. Do you know what a computer is? No, 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 no. I never, never use a computer. What's wrong with that? Yeah, because I am very old. Ninety years old. Ninety? Ninety years old. Well. Yeah, okay. Thank you. No. Huh? Hey. Hi. Stop that. Everything is broken and everything hurts. Oh, God. Okay, so maybe he has a right to be angry all the time. <laughs> it's like once you get to that age, everything pisses you off. I don't know. With the old men around here, I notice that they're usually really laid back and pleasant and friendly, and you can talk to them. They're nice people. And the old women are just like him. Just mean and angry and, I don't know, bitter at the world. Oh, man. Okay, you want me to try someone? Let's see what we got here. I'm looking for goofy names. Keith has safe rides underlined here, but I'm pretty sure they probably traced their calls. <laughs> there is actually, you know, you know the handful call? noodle house. I, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you want to call the handful noodle house? Sure, let's call. It. You want me to do it? Um, either way, I would call in card it too. <laughs> yeah. You wanna? If you wanna send me the number, I can call it. You know, it might be too late. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, they, they close no, no, I think they're there. open till 10. So they might be catching them right as they close. Oh, really? I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to that one. But I don't know why it's so appealing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm looking up a number here because I remember seeing a number in the phone book, and it just happened to be uh, the same name just happened to be in the movie I just watched, Day of the Dead. Um, so I thought it might be the actor John Amplis. Now I'm looking for the number. I'm not seeing it. Maybe it was in the regular phone book I saw it. I remember seeing the phone... I remember seeing the name John Amplis in the phone book, and then thinking at the time, that's a familiar name. And then I saw Day of the Dead, and I said, oh, that's where I, that's where I knew that name from. But I, I'm looking, and I'm not seeing the name right now. Good time food market. Good time. What's so good about it? <laughs> um, you want to call good time food market? Really close to home, which is, I think it's like three blocks away. Yeah, I'll see if they're open. Okay. And I'll check my private messages. Um, Stunner is asking me how do you want to relay. Is Al there? Alcohol. Hello. Hi. Yes. Is is this the Good Time Food Market? Yes. Yes. Hi, um, my mother, um, her, there's something wrong with her voice, and I was wondering if you had throat medicine. I'm sorry? My, there's something wrong with, um, with my mother's voice. Mother voice? Voice, like, um, her, her voice, she can't talk well, she's sick. Any medicine for the talking, uh, she can, uh, are you talking about the medicine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can, I have medicine, you can come down here and check it. I don't know actually what which medicine she can do with that. Um, hold on, she wants to talk to you. Okay. Ma'am? Hello. Hello, hello, how Hello, oh, I heard the little ding dong, somebody just came in. Hello? Yes. I'm looking for Fisherman's Friend. Fishmill? Exactly, fisherman's friend. Can, can you, if anybody comes, can you write down for him? Write down the piece of paper? Well, I don't want to come down there until I know that you have what I need because I'm very old and decrepit and it's very cold. Very yeah, cold outside. We live in Cupertino. Oh, no, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't deliver medicine. You can come down here in the bar. No, 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 I'm going to come down there and get it myself, but I want to make sure you have it before I come, so it's called... Fisherman's friend. It's a throat lozenge. Oh, did you buy it before from here? Um, 
I'm not Pardon? sure if it was there or somewhere else, but I know I bought it before. Ding. Somewhere. Uh, 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 I don't think so, ma'am. There's some medicine Ding. I have. How about, oh, Ludens? Oh, yes, Ludens, um... Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't, I oh, don't have... Oh, the, the, what about the one that has the two Hindi brothers on it? Oh, you know, the, the Hindi, yeah. The Smith brothers. Uh, active ingredient, uh, menthol, uh, 1.6. I know what, I know, I don't have those medicines. I don't have it. It says, uh, soothes everyday throat irritation. No, because I keep some medicine, not all of them. I don't have all medicine. Well, why uh, not? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Okay? No. You, you don't know damn right. I'm so... Hello? Yes? Did you get her her damn medicine? No, I don't have any medicine like that. It's, it's, it's a cough know. drop. You must have cough drops. Cough drops? Cock rope. Oh, no, I don't have, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now wait, the place is called the Good Time Food Market, right? Yeah. Well, what's so good about it? What's so good about the Good Time... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what's so good about it if you don't have any throw lozenges? I could hear you reading off your package. <laughs> Do you have Smith Brothers cough drops? No, Ludens. <laughs> Lud the wild cherry Ludens, right? Actually, it's honey lemon. Oh, really? No. I'm different like that. You get all your fancy cough drops. <laughs> Surprised you don't have those re-cola. Re- <laughs> re cola Everybody's saying that they can, um, they can relay, but they don't know how, so... You I guess you we need to have a how-to. I think both of us ought to put something on our bulletin boards, how to donate bandwidth to our, to the, to your server. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I know you like it. There's just more shit I gotta do now. <laughs> well, I no, I said I was gonna do something like that before, and then you know. I asked Kermit. Then to I do buy it. a video game, and then there's yeah. all my free time. <laughs> I asked Kermit to do it because he's a techie mod, and then uh, I guess he forgot about it, or I don't know. I don't like writing documentation. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, neither do I, but I, I, I don't know how. Well, I can tell you if you go to shoutcast.com, they have tutorials there that will explain it to you. That's true. Well, that's I don't know if they teach you how to relay, though. No? I have looked. How different is relaying from broadcasting? It's not really any different. <sighs> okay. I'm looking that's at how it. you do it, though. <laughs> you want to call somebody? Yeah, I, I have a num I see a number that circled here from last week. Maybe you remember the name Carol Brady? Carol Brady. She was very angry. Huh? She was very angry and you asked her, you're not acting like you do on T V. <laughs> you're not all angry on T V or something like that. Oh, yeah, it's caller. Okay. I can tell you're not fried up by that idea. Let me try something else. No, I just don't remember. Oh, I found a better one. Leaf Booger. Hey, that works. <laughs> His name is Leaf A. Booger. <laughs> of Cottontail Lane. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> is this Leaf a Wang? What? Record this? message after tone. <laughs> Hello, I'm looking for Mr. Booger. Leaf Booger. Hello? Late Booger of the Connecticut Boogers. Hello? The Late? Mr. Booger. <laughs> hey. I, was, I, th I thought you were going to come in pretending to be late. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be like, who the fuck is that? I started singing the song 8675309 because Richie, uh... Said we should you should try numbers of that phone number with different area codes while singing the song. Oh. Do you want to, do, you, do you know that song? Do you want to go eight six seven five three zero nine? That's like the only part I know. <laughs> That's the only part I know too. <laughs> but, but but wait 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 wait. 
We do have some phone numbers here for celebrities. Uh, we can do Evom. You want to do e Let's do Evom. Is it from the webpage Evom or no? Evomsworld.com. Oh, okay. We can call him and I'll say, why the hell aren't any KDK calls up there? <laughs> why the hell isn't the Gladys soundboard up there? Yeah, there you go. I don't know. What do we say? I'm trying to think of a better idea. That was very offended, thank you, you know. Well, let me tell you who we have. We have Eric Bowman, Tom Mabe, um, Tom the Mabe. webmaster of the happyhacker.com, who I'm totally not going to fuck with. <laughs> I'm not fucking with the happy hacker. The happy, yeah. Anything with happy, and you know they're a bunch of rotten bastards. Yeah. <laughs> we got phonelosers.org, Tom Mabe, and d -bomb. Let's call Tom, Tom Mabe and say your call suck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your call suck. Oh, man, his calls do suck. <laughs> I've actually never actually bought one of his CDs. Dude, me and my friend have a bet. I say all your calls are fake. Who wins? <laughs> you want to, yeah, we're going to call Tom Mabe first. I'll be right back. have five hours, 28 minutes. Wait, i got a better idea, Ted. Ted? Why don't you do a telemarketer? Because he always does telemarketer. Hello? 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 Good evening. I'm calling from the K Research Corporation. To what? Can I have a moment of your time, sir? Who's, who's calling? This is Jack from the K Research Corporation. K Research Corporation. Yes, um, I'm conducting a public opinion. Survey of uh, people in the area. Uh -huh. What are you trying to survey? Well, <clears throat> we're trying to find out if uh, people in the area, we're trying to find out what kind of stereo equipment that they like to purchase. Uh, it's okay, buddy. Call me some other time, okay? Hey. That wasn't him? Well, I don't know, was it? I couldn't tell. I don't think so. I don't think he has a deep accent like that. I've heard him before, but he sounds somewhat like Jim Florentine. Yeah. They also have another thing in common. What's that recall? Oh, it's the... Yeah. Do you play Jim Florentine? Uh, yes. You bastard. <laughs> Well, his only saving grace was the upper decker. Yeah, I like the upper decker. That was a good one. I had never heard that phrase before. Had you? Well, I learned something from him. <laughs> That's true. I, I learned a new curse or a curse phrase or something. Okay, do you want to do um, Brad of phonelosers.org or Eric Bowman of e -bombs World? I don't, want, I don't know if I want to prank, prank callers because it's like... It's like, because it's hard, because you know they they might be expecting that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I want to do it, though. Okay. So we can brag that we prank them, and, like, post it on the site. Okay. I need more celebrity prank calls. I want to have a celebrity prank section. Okay. Okay, call them. Would they even count as celebrities? No, but... <laughs> <laughs> Evil, maybe. He's got a big site. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people know about him. Just call him a bastard. Put me on your front page. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if we'll um, get him to put some of your calls on there. That would be awesome. He's like, yeah. Hey, he's Rich Boss talked to us, so... He'd probably, he'd probably be like, yeah, I know your stuff. You suck. Who's Jay Meyer? <coughs> Jay, Jay as in the letter J or the first name J? The letter J. I have no idea. It's from Richie. Jay Meyer. Doesn't sound familiar. It's probably some obscure, like, uh, celebrity... 6525 Colonial Avenue. Blah, blah, blah. Is he saying who, who she is? No, he's not saying who. Who that? Somebody... Okay, Prankman gave me this number. It says, not if they have a block, though. He stays drunk all the time. That's for Terry. That's for who? Terry. A drunk guy named Terry. A guy who's drunk all the time. Cool. <laughs> He spells it T-I-E-R-R-Y. I don't know if that's a misspelling. Hmm. Is there a Tierra there? <laughs> Is there a Tierra there? <laughs> yeah. I lost my Tierra. 
Okay, who am I going to try? The drunk guy. The drunk guy, okay. The number two E-bomb. Okay. And I'm not too familiar with phonelosers.org's call, so... Okay, I'll do this one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey. I'm looking for Terry. Yeah. Is he there, please? Who is this? This is Maurice. He knows me. He told me to call, and he said he didn't, ma he didn't mind if I called late because he says he usually stays up drinking. Uh, when did you talk to him? On Friday. He said, give me a call over the weekend, we'll get together, we'll have a couple of beers. Watch a game. Something like that. Well, and I, I told him that I work until 1 in the morning, and he said, no, that's okay, because uh, I'm always up at that time anyway. <laughs> Did he pass out already? No, I don't think so. Oh, he's still awake, so can you put him on, please? Hello? Hello. Terry! Yeah? How are you doing, man? Good. Are, are you sober enough to drive? Why? Well, I want to know if you're going to come pick me up or if I'm going to come over there or what. For what? You said give me a call and we'll have a couple beers and we'll watch a game. You said you have the game on tape so we can watch that and have a couple beers. And Who the hell is this? This is Maurice. Get the hell I out of here. I met you in the diner. Terry? If you call, call here again, I'm going to send a sheriff after your ass, so get out of here. What's all that about? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> you hear him calling me a fag in the background? <laughs> yeah. That's bad. <laughs> I, I was going to continue and be like, and we can pull around after your wife goes to sleep? <laughs> Okay, uh, we did that once, so I'm going to close out Prank Me's window, and back to Papercut. Um, Papercut is the one who's donating the numbers for the celebrities here that we have here. We also have DJ Mike Shinoda, who, who does stuff at, like, Lincoln Park and stuff. Hmm. He's like a DJ, a famous MC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 uh. E-bomb. Okay, I'll be right back. E-bomb. Hi, you've reached Neil Bauman's office. I will be out of the office from Monday, December 29th. Uh, Hello? Neil Bauman. Please enter your passcode. I'm sorry, I did not get your passcode. I'm sorry, I will call back when you can remember your passcode. Damn Goodbye. You <laughs> bitch. Hang up on me, will you? Bitch. But it didn't say Eric Bauman, it said something else. You got Mark J. Greenbaum. Who's that? I don't know. Richie keeps posting these things. He says he doesn't know who they are. <laughs> He's like giving you numbers, just arbitrary numbers of people, doesn't know who they are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> so did you get the number? I guess I should call it. Okay, awesome. It looks like radio prank. Oh, shit, no, they're playing an old <laughs> Radio prank comes up and it says 30. I was like, oh, cool. But they're playing an old K2K prank before <coughs> I came up. Bastards. They're playing Reminiscing with Berthold, which is a fine, one of my favorite prank calls yeah. on my own. You like that one? Yeah. I like that one because it was a nice call. And the, the guy was, he wasn't angry by the end and he was all happy. Yeah. So that's, that's a nice, and we're at 40. We're maxing out again, by the way. Mm, so I guess I could call Mark J. Greenball. I don't know who the fuck that is. No, go for it. What the hell? Pennsylvania. <laughs> what the hell? We'll call... You know, ask so, if he's Amish. I don't know. <laughs> well, you told me you were Amish, and you turn the best butter in town. Your wife can... can jerk a mean chick. Just a second. The calling cards are getting thin. Mine is like five hours? For five bucks? I'm going to have to go... Hello? Oh? Hello? Who's calling, please? Hi, this is Jack. Jack? Hello? You sound like you're fading away. Um, I w 
Um, hello? Yes. Hi, um, I, I need to talk to someone immediately. Why are you calling me? Um, don't, don't be so angry with me. I thought that, uh... It's, I could... it's in the night time. Well, they said that this was all night. Um, 24 hours? No, I, I don't have that kind of a thing. You're, you have a, a private number. Yeah, they said that it would be private and confidential. No, it's not that kind of a number. <laughs> Are you going to ask about an escort? You make a call. Press <laughs> 1. To What's your number again? To speak with the customer service representative. Press 2. What's your number? I'm going to give it to you in the chat room because I don't really want to say it again. Okay. Even though I already said it once. Did you get my message? I guess I didn't because I don't Hello. know what I was talking about. No one is available to take your call. Hello? Hola. Hello, I wanted to uh, call the house and I uh, thank you for visiting uh, the adult entertainment website. Hello? We got a the, the special deal this month. Uh, you want to pick it up? We uh, got it, the the strap on and all the other kind of shit you like over there. Understand? Hello? And I get Cristo. Okay, ciao. <laughs> That's awesome. That bitch. That <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Who is the lady you guys call who you were telling her something about your, she was leaving out food for the cats in the condo? Yeah. <laughs> She's listed. <laughs> uh, I'm looking her up right now. We, we called her with the soundboard the other night. Could tell her that her, her, I live in a bubble and I'm worried that her cats are going to rupture it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I uh, must be in the wrong town here. As little as this book is, there's even more than one town in here. We need rednecks. <laughs> we need rednecks. <laughs> Wisconsin, I guess, would be good, like northern Wisconsin or something like that. <clears throat> Jeez. No, I guess that would be cheeseheads. More than... Um, let's see. Okay, I got it. People seem to be listening off the Windows Media listing. Awesome. So, oh, so maybe Radio Prank is simulcasting. And I guess maybe the link that I have up there just doesn't work. Huh. How long has the show been broadcasting on Windows Media? I don't, I don't know if the show comes up on Windows Media listing or it's him, but he's got Windows Media servers, right? I think he does. That's why it doesn't show up on Shoutcast. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so he probably is relaying just on Windows Media. Yeah, but <coughs> when I asked Zach to check the link, they were playing, like, you know, just regular prints. Maybe he, at, when the music comes on, he uh, switches over or something. You think? Maybe. I wish you would join us in the chat room and let me know what's going on. I'm going to click over and call Joyce. And you do your bubble thing. <laughs> <laughs> do the bubble thing. Yeah, do the bubble thing. Get on with your bubble cell. <laughs>
um, she's been feeding cats in and around the condo complex. No, you have the wrong number. Well, see, here's the thing. Ever since I was two years old, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. I think that wasn't really her daughter. No, it sounded too old. Yeah. Well, no, Joe. Well, we got, we got the number for the knife to a, don't bring a knife to a gunfight guy. <laughs> oh, um. David? David Williams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. I don't know why, but his voice is just perfect. Everybody seems to love him. Everybody wants, wants us to keep calling him all the time. Alright. Well. Oh, Mr. Happy is getting a redneck for us, so you can call up Dave and we have a, a redneck on the burner. <laughs> They started time casting now because he was uh, confused about the, t the start time. You know? Yeah. Oh, actually, he says he lives up near Canada. He might live in Washington or something. Someone, Sefi says he's simulcast. Oh, he is? Good, good. Through Winamp 5? I thought they were on 3. Oh, well. Tells you what I know. <laughs> You didn't hear me talking to Zach about that earlier? No coincidence. Uh, Win M5 comes up twice in one show when it's never come up be before. <laughs> Everybody go out there and upgrade. That's what it means. Oh, well. Mm, they just skip, like, two versions. I, I got a phone number for somebody I know from work. <laughs> cool. Where server is Let maxed me. now. Your server's maxed out again? That's what somebody just wrote. Chat room. Let me look. Yeah, we are maxed out. I like how, like, it goes to red, like, once you're maxed out. It's like time, damn it. I think that's cool. It goes to red. So, if you're listening, if you tune out, you're not going to be able to get back in. So, you may as well just hang in there. <laughs> I can't pause my Desert Combat download, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, you do enough to help us. <laughs> we need other people to start sharing the love, too. Say that love. I share the love by doing the show. Got it. That's a lot of love. And Ted shares love by doing the show and giving us the station to do it on. More love. And Zach calls in and does pranks with us, and Monkey Witchy does, or, and Aaron. Um, I wonder if I should call Richie. I got a good name here. M. Vogelweed. M. Vogelweed? I'm not sure the first name, but the last name is Vogelweed. Vogelweed. Yeah. I Have you ever seen the movie Half-Baked? Yeah. Yeah, I need some vulgar weed. <coughs> Speaking of, I just went and saw my drug dealer last night. You know, one of, the, one of the most interesting things about going over somebody's house to buy pot is the other people that you see there when you buy it. Yeah. Because I saw this little five-foot guy, this little gay five-foot guy, reminds me of David Spade, was there. <laughs> Somebody would never, never expect to be smoking weed. He was buying like $100 in like little baggies, so he must be selling. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he must be buying for all his friends or something. It was cool there because I got to get in and out really fast. Because I can't stand to go over this guy's house because he lives in his parents' basement, of course. He's like 30 years old, living in his parents' basement. Typical pot dealer itinerary. He sits around and plays PS2 all day long. Like, literally, like, all day long. He's pursuing the American dream. <laughs> yeah. And he'll always want to talk about the game that he's playing. And, uh... Everything that he has to do to complete 100% of the game because he's obsessive compulsive. He can't just play a game and beat it. He's got to beat it 100%. Oh. So he goes and he downloads like hundreds and hundreds of pages of uh, FAQs and hit guides and cheats and shit. And he's got them all annotated and marked and circled off. And the sad part is the guy really is. He's like an idiot savant because he's like a genius when it comes to physics. But he's like a complete idiot when it comes to like social ability and uh just how does someone who's socially not become a drug dealer <laughs> I, I know really <laughs> it was the first time that I went over there and there was somebody else there that was the first time <laughs> but I hate going over there because he lives in the parents basement so obviously there's not good airflow, and he's got a dog and two cats so the place stinks like a dog's asshole <laughs> that's pleasant <laughs> 
not even like a nice, pleasant dog, like a dirty, mangy smell. Uh, the kind of dog where you pet it and your hand smells the rest of the day. Even if you wash your hands, you can still smell <laughs> that dog. I know what you're talking about, man. Yeah. I know someone had a dog like that. Anybody who has a stinky dog knows it. <laughs> your hands just stink. And I hate going over there because I don't want to sit on anything. They get, like, dog hair on me, and I, I, the dog gets up in your face, and I don't want to touch it or I'm going to smell. And, it, uh, of course, my cats go nuts when I get home. So I was happy I was able to get in there and get right out because he was talking with this other guy. No, man. We got a number from Michael Booty. Michael Booty? Who's that? I don't know. Someone in the chat room. You know how I want to prank? I want to prank the I kiss you guy. Who's that? I kiss you. You remember that weird Israeli guy or whatever he is? He's in Turkey or something, and he put up a website trying to find a bride. Oh, okay. His website is still up, and he I checked his hits for today. By, like, 5 in the afternoon, he had, like, 2,000 hits for the day. So his size has gone down some, because he used to get, like, 50,000 hits a day. <coughs> but still, he had, like, 2,000 hits for his crappy little homepage that's badly designed and broken links and pictures that don't load and everything. Wow. <laughs> and he's got his name up there, but I can't remember it. Get his name and look him up. Call him in Turkey. <laughs> oh. I don't know what his name is. I can't. I was thinking maybe I need a catchphrase. Make sure you try the redneck guy again. Okay. Oh yeah, we have that redneck coming in from uh, Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy gave us. We a also have David, whose number was busy. David Williams. I don't think he was on the phone. I think he has it off. Off at night. <laughs> yeah. We have, um... Jack, Jack Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Carter, Gary and Vicky Hatmaker, and Beulah Hallman. They're all rednecks. All right. I'm going to start from the top. <laughs> Okay, I'll start out. Your name is Beulah Hallman. Hello? Hello, is Beulah there? Yes. Beulah, how you doing, honey? Alright, uh, you? It's been so long since I've talked to you. Uh-huh. So what do you wear? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was going to play a joke on you and I cracked myself up. How you doing, Beulah? Oh, alright. Is the old man around? I know. Who is this? What, do you go out for the night? Who is this? This um, is his friend Bob. We haven't spoken in a number of years, but he'll remember me when he talks to me. We were old, we were old drinking buddies. Um, um, I don't know where he might be. Um, I don't know a phone number to give you. Oh, you mean you guys broke up? Um, uh, something like that, yeah. You left him? You know, I don't blame you because he was always a big drinker. He could always drink ten times more than me and finish all the coke first. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I woke you up. Okay. You have a good night. Okay. I can see she didn't want to have any of it. <laughs> she wasn't going to go anywhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have that was pretty funny, though. What? That voice you were doing. In the beginning? In the beginning? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing there. I was going in and out of voice. <laughs> um, Who's next on the list? Louis Wanamaker. Wanamaker? Louis Wanamaker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hi, darling. Um, I'm glad I got a hold of you. Um, do you remember me, Jack? I, um, in the grocery store parking lot, I, uh, had a can of clean peaches that dented your hood and I left a note. When was this? It was, uh, it was Friday when I went grocery shopping. What kind of car? Um, it was dark at night, so I couldn't tell. It was just a big car. How did you get my phone number? Um, well, I looked at your license, and I hope you're not mad at me. 
You can't look at it. How'd you look at my license? There's no way you can look at my license. No license plate. So, you, you can get my phone number for my license plate. What the hell are you calling me at this time of night? Well, I am the warning. I just wanted to say that I, I cared for you and that maybe we had something there with the peaches. And get a life. Bitch. <laughs> that woman's like 70 years old. What? I heard Lewis in the background at the end there. I know it. Those are two little old people that I know. <laughs> yeah, the guy is, um, he works in the, in, um, he does work in the supermarket in town, so that's why she was buying his story at first. <laughs> okay, I was like, what the hell? He's like one of the guys who pushes carts. <laughs> that's too funny. That's too funny. You want to call him back? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Who? Hello? Hello? Uh, this is a Vincenzo. Uh, I'm looking for uh, the Mrs. Uh, yeah, hello? What do you want? I think uh, my friend the Jack called you earlier. Oh, what do you want? You hang up on him, and he's uh, trying to uh, to get a date with you. I'm married. It's uh, you know, it's not a problem in uh, Italy. Uh, everybody got a mistress. Well, it's a problem with me. And maybe he's a little uh, uptight. You understand? Uh, you understand this? You call me back. I'm gonna have this phone traced. I'm gonna have you arrested. For ask you for a date. That's not a very nice. Here, can you take the phone. Hello. Yes. Hi, I'm calling. Uh, I lost a cat in the neighborhood, and uh, I'm looking for a cat. You have the wrong number. How can I have a wrong number? I lost. I live in the neighborhood, and I uh, I lost my cat, and I'm calling around to see if anybody saw a black cat. You have the wrong number. And calling at 1 o'clock in the morning is a little ridiculous. It's not a little ridiculous. It's just, you know, I lost my cat. I would suggest that you hang up and forget this number. Uh, why? You have my cat. You're not going to give it back? You're breathing heavy over there. You okay? Hang up. me up. There's, there's this one time in the call where she yelled, like, what do you want? And you were silent for like 20 seconds. I was, I was trying to prevent from blowing up laughing. I know. I, I was like, I know. He just put his thumb over the ear, over the mouthpiece, <laughs> and he's laughing like crazy. <laughs> I was too. I had to have like my thumb over the ear, the mouthpiece the whole while. Uh, oh, a couple of angry old people. <laughs> angry, confused, angry, confused old people. <laughs> Oh, man. That was pretty nonsensical. <laughs> yeah, really, that call was all over the place. Well, one thing I like to do is, like, get someone really riled up, and then someone else says, here, you talk to this person, and then act like I was talking something. about something nice and benign. You, you know what else I like? is I like trying to say that somebody else was just, like, saying something mean to me. <laughs> like, if you picked up, you said, she just called me an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> What about Jack Harder? You want to talk to me, Jack Harder? <laughs> that has been disconnected. Okay, Jack Harder is no good. Okay, so I'm going to close out Mr. Happy's numbers because... Oh, we, did we still have Gary and Vicky Hatmaker. Do we want to try the Hatmakers? Call us for a hat to be made. <laughs> you want to call the Hatmakers? Sure. Okay. Either away from my desk or on another line. 
Please leave your name and number and we'll return your call as soon as we can. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Jack. Could you please pick up? Hello? Hello? Well, um, I, I need a hat because, um, I've lost all my hair. And uh, I heard you were the best in the business. Um, could you please come to the phone and discuss making a hat for me, please? You bastard. You, you don't care about me, do you? Just lying in there in bed, sleeping. Well, I have to expose my bald head. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Well, they have an interesting message for tomorrow morning. I'm tempted to call up the Wanamakers again. <laughs> See, I just realized, like, what, right after we called them the second time, I was like, oh shit, I gave him a prank call CD for Christmas. I can't, like, do a voice or he's gonna know. Oh, I see. I mean, I burned up, like, 20 or 30 copies of the CD and just gave them out to, like, everybody. I went to work with like 10 CDs and everybody took them because I pranked one of the girls that I work with once. I, well, Keith actually did it. He did the Gladys Richford soundboard to one of the people uh -huh. I work with. You remember, uh, it's Gladys number 10, the one with Kathy from the, the uh, supermarket. You remember? I'd have to listen again. What? I'd have to listen again. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ron is here. Rising Pastor? Mm-hmm. Or Ron uh, Rippinger, or whatever his name was. <laughs> <laughs> Rippinger. RP, we need some black girls. Yeah, we want to call some black girls. Where the hell has RP been? He sort of like dropped out of the face of the prank call world for a little while. I don't know. I think he's starting to hunt down girls. Well, that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're down to 39 people, so there's one slot. <laughs> this is like a...